Hi. <gasps> We're live! All right, I'm looking for the uh, the link. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our little game. Oh, we're live? Okay. That's yes. what she says. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. we're live live? You get sound cues. For we are officially... Oh, wait, no wonder. Okay, we are. That's why you were so much bigger, because I was looking at the wrong one! Sorry about my no, dog. No, no, I'm small. Yeah, I fixed you. Mm -hmm. awesome. I can fix him! <laughs> Sorry. Talk great. Think you can fix me. Um, welcome to our game. Uh, this is a uh, big D twenty energy playing Curse of Strahd, um, as presented by uh, She Plays It, and um, I'm the bees. I run the game. These were our players. We will introduce ourselves, our characters, and. Uh, a question, if you will, sort of fantasy related, is what is your favorite weapon? Whether it be, uh, you know, like a fantasy, whether it's melee or, or, or ranged. Um, what do you just think is a cool weapon to fight with? Mm. <laughs> In real life? Is. I guess it could be real life. I don't want to think of fantasy because I hope I see Jester's way too excited. <laughs> fantasy. Guns fantasy weapon. Fantasy <laughs> weapon. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking weapons. about. Those are those are just pew pews. Don't worry about those. <laughs> so uh, that's airsoft, totally right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As you <laughs> totally I'll, not. I'll, I'll, I'll start. I'll start on the bees and run the game. I play everyone um, except for these guys. And I, the reason I thought of this was listening back to the previous session and listening. Uh -oh. oh, he froze. Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh. no! Oh, oh no! Oh. Irish! He looks... Irish came and she, she froze bees! Irish, Irish. Like, oh, why? Why did you character. freeze bees? Uh, uh, am I, am I oh. back? Am oh, I you're, back? Yep, you're back now. You're back. I was like, great, <laughs> my computer froze. Oh, <laughs> no. um, it's all Irish's cool. fault. Yep, it's because she only, came. Was, my, my computer is... Um, Wash your hands, Irish. So, um, my computer... What was I talking about? <laughs> Yeah. Something uh, you came up with this thing. idea I because inspired. yeah, I'm inspired because of because of Terraman listening to the previous session, oh. um, listening to him just smash heads, and I was like, you know, there's something about bludgeoning damage that's just like, it's so awful, <laughs> just like bones crunching and mm. um, just really doing nasty damage. That's just really fun. I um, mean, if you've ever read like a Song of Ice and Fire or anything, whenever they were talking about Robert Baratheon in his prime. Oh, like yeah. caving in people's breastplates with his war hammer, just like oh god, it's brutal. It's like you're, you're so used to seeing swords in combat. Gosh, a, a good mace or just a, a six and a half foot man <laughs> destroying people with a giant weapon. It's horrifying. Anyway, that's it for me. Um, we'll do uh, alphabetical if we will. Uh, Max, uh, actually, Max, Mini, Prank, Rogue, and Jester. We'll go in that order. All right, cool. Um, so I like this weapon. Um, I Who like pull arm. Oh, sorry. I'm Agitating Max. I play uh, the character uh, Duvab Serenus, uh, the Bardcher. I uh, <laughs> uh, I don't do a lot of barding, but I do a lot of sh archering. So you know, um, I'm a real sad boy. Uh, but yeah, and my favorite weapon. I like saying its name because it's just it's just a really satisfying name. It's a Bardish. A bardi. It's like a pole arm that has like a little curvy end at the top. Um, it's just really cool. I like it. Uh, I like having range and being able to also chop at people. It's it's like a spear and an axe all at once. That's cool. But yeah, it's basically a I, it, bardish. Basically translates to broad headed axe. Um, That's really yeah, cool. It's a really it's really cool, but. Bardish. It just rolls nice. off the tongue. Bardish. Anyway. Awesome. Mini. Um, <clears throat> I'm Mini. I play uh, Gamila, um, the warlock. Sorlock, I should say. Um, <laughs> uh, if I was to choose a favorite weapon, probably I have been wanting to create a character that fights with a whip. I don't know why. I love the range. I love the sound. I just, you know, just to get that um, <laughs> Indiana Jones. 
Oh, slash Catwoman so slash I think whatever that's, fantasy. I think that's okay. actually what really inspired it was Catwoman. She was one of my yeah. favorite anti or anti heroes. Like a cat of nine tails whip or a bull whip? Um, probably a bull whip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a bull whip. That's fine. Cat of nine tails are for bad guys. (laughs) You know, that's straight up. That's a villain. That's a villain (laughs) weapon. (laughs) Or something for a kinky party. (laughs) That's on the other side. But those ones are much smaller and they're not designed to, like, actually hurt somebody Uh, long term. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but that's me. Who's next? Uh, Pranky. Pranky. Pranky Pie. You did Pranky Pie. So are we going with, like, my favorite weapon or Paul's favorite weapon? You could do both if you want, man. Whatever you want. All right. Um, My favorite weapon is... My head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right on. He's having flashbacks to last night where he just um, strangled the life out of somebody. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, also, you were supposed to be quiet about that. So shut the fuck up. Hey, um, it's okay. It's not like we're live streaming this or anything. Uh, my, uh, oh yeah, my, uh, I, I almost did my Varrock voice. Um, I play Paul Torquando. Is here based stylized after Vincent Price. <laughs> so, um, uh, Paul's favorite weapon is his ancestors and just throwing the ghosts of his ancestors at his enemies, letting your extended family come and murder, rip exactly. people to pieces. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. This is the preferred <laughs> way. Uh, mm-hmm. yes, that's my, that's my answer. Awesome. Uh, yeah, now we're looking at Rogue and then Jester. Hey, I'm Rogue. I'm playing Terramon, the Revenant Paladin. And I think mine has changed, like, over the years. Um, I I was always in love with uh, shorter blades. um, And I've always trained with them. I used to work at Medieval Times in the show, and we trained with, like, you know, real blades and stuff. Uh, They weren't sharpened, but they'll definitely... I've got several scars to... uh, To... uh, I was stabbed with a spear when a dude was riding full speed, and I got oh hit gosh. by the horse and did a flip. And uh, yeah. there was a lot of. I saw a guy get his face sliced in half, and he kept he kept fighting, but blood was running down his <laughs> oh face. My gosh. And everybody Damn. in the audience is like, "Oh!" <laughs> and he's show. like, "Come on!" <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. Oh, oh, it's just it. a flesh wound. That's... That's such good special effects. Can you believe that? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Must have, they must have had like a blood capsule up there or something. It was <laughs> funny. We uh, <laughs> there were, I played the wizard, and there would be fog on the ground. That's and so when cool. they trained you, you have to sneak out into the middle of the arena and find the spot between these two pyros. And they're like, "All right, if you you have only a certain amount of time before the voiceover runs out, and then you have to jump up in the center of the two pyros." So guys would like jump up all the time in the wrong spot, and oh, when the no. fire, uh, like a huge stream of fire, would blow up, and they'd catch on fire on their cloaks and stuff all the time. It was hilarious. This, this job sounds like an ocean nightmare. I love it. <laughs> it, it was a great job. That but, sounds amazing. Anyway, the um. I, I was always a fan of dual blades, uh, shorter swords, and uh, like like scimitars or uh, mm. you know stuff like that. But I think over uh, over time, if I was in a fight, I would really love to have a glaive, which is like you know a pole arm, and um, uh, just for the reach. Uh, and I would I love flails now also, mm. the the bludgeoning weapons. Um, after doing all of the research. Especially if you're fighting somebody in plate armor, those bludgeoning weapons were the ones that really smashed that armor and fucked everybody up. You know mm. what I mean? When it was caving the metal in and just crushing stuff inside. You know that's that sounds like uh, such a horrible way to die. It's so yeah, hardcore. I, I do love oh. the bludgeoning weapons now. Oh, I think. Yeah. But that's me. Yeah. You know, my I second mean, answer just... was going to be like. I also like to inflict emotional trauma on you. <laughs> <laughs> and it just seems like it just pales in comparison. <laughs> emotional trauma, real trauma. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm, 
Oh. And also, sometimes the real trauma causes emotional <laughs> trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Why not both? All right. Uh, we're looking at Jester now. Oh. Last but not least, the most important one, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm Jester. I'll be playing Zash, the uh, barbarian druid, or uh, uh, barbarian, because he loves changing into a bear. Hey. Uh, but as far as the fantasy weapon, I would love to have, and you all missed the mark because fantasy includes everything. I want a Gundam. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's so much better than emotional trauma. <laughs> I want a goddamn Gundam. You would get along with Alex so much. I mean, what the Gundam, if I had you to also pick... get emotional trauma. Can you watch describe the series? what that is? That's a good point. Big ass giant robot with guns. <laughs> And I mean the 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 granddaddy of all mecha. Well, it's not the granddaddy, but it's like the the most Robotech. Honestly, I think I think it was the most popular, like popularized as genre. I would say Gundam is. But what... if I had to pick an actual weapon, I would either go with a Scottish Claymore or a Zwyhander. That's so Zwyhander. Cool. Zwyhander. Zwyhander. They're they're fun to say Zwyhander. Oh, it's right in front of Minnie. There you go. Minnie's got an awesome gun that she's holding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's muted because we can't hear her boyfriend in the background going, Minnie, put that down! Stop <laughs> no. playing with my toys! No, this is the one that I bought. They're action sh- figures. I should take a picture of Aura's collection. They're a statue. <laughs> Not a statuary. Uh, but yeah. I just love the Scottish Claymore ever since Braveheart. But yeah. the Zwyhander oh. just is intimidating as hell. Can you imagine that size of a blade with that much? Well, and you'd also story. have to be physically imposing to hold that weapon and use that weapon effectively. Mm. So, like, you're already intimidating them one way, and then you bring out this weapon that's just like you the have size to of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like gravity to his thing. It's literally <laughs> gut. It's like guts, but like slightly smaller. You know. Awesome. Ah, anyway. Sweet. That's a fun opener. Um, I didn't write a recap, but uh, just to remind everybody, let's move on to a quick little recap, I suppose. Um, previously on Curse of Strahd, our heroes did another chapter of the old Tome of Strahd, where they were guests at a royal wedding. Um, there was some confusion over whose wedding it was, um, whether it was Strahd marrying Tatiana or his brother. Uh, and obviously we, we remembered that Sergei was engaged to marry Tatiana. The party helped her to feel less nervous as she felt like she would, wasn't good enough to join this royal family and live in this castle. And things went sour, however, as uh, there was an attack both on Strahd and on his brother and on his brother's... Um, Fiance, um, bride to be, um, they were all attacked. <clears throat> Strahd, um, seeing his brother injured, began to drink his brother's blood in a, a feral rage. Um, the party uh, tried to save her, uh, help her escape outside of the castle, um, where Strahd then cornered her and tried to talk her into being his bride. She seemed uh, a bit traumatized by the events of the day. <laughs> As he cornered her and she fell to her uh, assumed death off the ledge of the uh, the height of the mountain into the mist. <clears throat> Ooh, that hit from the music. If you all had Stansky punch, nope. it, was yeah, kind of, yeah, it yeah, hit yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, up. It was awesome. It was <laughs> awesome. I love when that happens. <laughs> I, I, I picture like the body falling and it goes through the it mist and then boom, boom. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, Stroud was just left sad and uh, vampiric. He begins to tear, to cry tears of blood. Um, as he realized he's been killed and he's now undead. And um, he was betrayed by somebody in his court and he's mad about it. That's where he was in the story forever ago. After we left off in that book, we woke up. Totally didn't have conflicting voices whispering to him. <clears throat> yeah. One saying, you, 
You should make this everyone's problem. Make this everyone else's problem. <laughs> and uh, and and uh, and Paul trying to comfort him in whatever way he could. He's a spirit. And Such Camila spirit. blaming him. It's all your fault. Um. Oh, good. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> so the good, let's the bad go back the to the to the mansion. We also remembered as we woke up. Where it went. Burgo Masters Mansion. Stick to the map. You awakened. Um, Irina, we're down here at the bottom of the house here. Irina took out her notes and reminded everybody of the the last item of power that we are the thing. The thing from the card reading is some kind of weapon of sunlight that um, that we are destined to pick up. That it appears to be in this place with a faceless god. Um, and Zash is like, what about that? giant statue we saw in our flashback at the creepy temple with all the amber sarcophagi. Um, and so Zash totally together. doesn't want to look at the sarcophagus. Yeah, he's no other reason he wants to go other than yeah. the item of power. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so we kind of put our heads together. Um, uh, uh, Terraman has very fleeting uh, memories, recollections of this place that his order of knights were once supposed to guard. And uh, Camila also has some vague memories of the place being down this long, long and windy road up, up into the mountains. It's very dangerous and very cold and that we'll need to prepare before we head on that journey. Irina says, I'm not leaving. I feel very unsafe. She now is very aware of her own death and she lived that memory of the wedding, um, of her first incarnation. Um, she knows who she is or where she came from, but uh, she feels very unsafe, but she doesn't want to leave this house. It seems like the safest place to be is indoors where no one will invite in any vampires. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's still morning. You guys are still actually kind of hurt because of the, you wake up with the damage from uh, the combat uh, in your dream, fighting off those attackers. Uh, but here we are. We plan to go up to the mountains. We have to prepare first for cold weather and for mountain climbing, um, for any trouble that may befall you. Um, it seems very dangerous. Um, here we are. Take it away. Take them away, toys. <laughs> I imagine Paul wakes up from the dream and... Oh, no, we are already woken up, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, 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 yes. You're talking about it. You're in the study now. Gotcha. Right so yeah, Paul's got his fingers to his his temples, and he's just like, "Eh, oh, I, I hurt again." And um, he uh, yes. right off the bat, I'm gonna even though we just woke up, I'm gonna take a short rest and use some of my stuff to heal. Uh, so I imagine that's what's kind of happening in the study. I think but, Bees said uh, that we were take we we had a short rest at the end of that. You could have a short rest. You can use yeah. as many of your hit dice as you would like. Just gotcha. mark just make sure you're marking it on your character sheets appropriately. And again, oh, everyone oh, oh, oh. had rest before. Um uh I should say that Duvad actually has a level of exhaustion too. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put a one on your I would like that. to go into town to see if we can find uh, a bit warmer clothes and uh, some food supplies that we might be able to carry. Paul looks at Irene and he's like, is now the time to talk about the werewolves? Because I think this is a discussion we need to have eventually. Camilla snaps a look at Paul. Mm -hmm. He specifically does not look at her. It's like, it's like when you know somebody's staring at you and you intently stare away from like at, at the, he's just. And anybody, like, does anybody want to talk about that? Exactly. Way? He feels, he feels her bury, like her, 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 her stare bearing into him and he just focuses more on Irina. Yes, yes. What do you think, Irina? Um, was she, she was present. No, she was, was she, she wasn't present for the werewolf. No, Irina so wasn't. kind of told her how it went, but she wasn't there. Correct. Um, like, oh, she's. I um, think we threw all that information all at her, at her all yeah. at once, and she was tired. It was like, you so know what? We 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 came to an impasse with the werewolves, as it were. They will not be kidnapping the children anymore. From here, um, anyway. They will they, be kidnapping the if, children from here. Yes. If they want to gain more members, they can. 
legally adopt children from here we talked on a about trial that. basis on the trial yes. basis we talked about that as a possibility i don't know if home visits first, or anything. personally i think we should go and cave in both sides and start a fire in there yes after the devil is dead i think the trouble is is that we've got children who've been turned who are that's the thing is we cannot those turned children will... are probably going to turn around and start killing people or we could just make deals with them to be the city guards. I kind of so really I kind quick, of don't like that. Do the werewolves are the werewolves like? Do they always just like? It seemed like the werewolves we met had control over their curse. In mm -hmm. that, when they turned, they weren't like crazy feral monsters. And they could choose they, when to turn as well. And, and they choose everything. when to turn as well. Is mm -hmm. that accurate? Yeah, there's there's um. You know what? Do a um. It feels like even really if talked. they could. Did you have a did, did you have a monster book? I don't know if you had a book on like a bestiary. Didn't you have a like a monster we book? Did. Because we did. Uh, from uh, von Richter or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rudolf van Richten. Um, yeah. So <clears throat> you look it up. Do a little uh, history check. Just read, just real quick. Because of the book, can I get? Yeah. A uh, we're just going to see how quick you get to it. How much time you spend reading. Hey, hey, hey. We've you already have, seen you, that you they're not it, honest. You have it cornered. You put Dougie corner on it. Dougie, you're on the page. In article A of <laughs> subsection 3 of this werewolf diocese, you know, I just want you to know. Yes. He uh, understands. I believe that they... Um, yeah, and that's one of the things. is that werewolf. There's two ways to where you can make a werewolf. One is through the bite, and one is to... Reproduce, reproduce sexually. Do the deed. <clears throat> and so, um, oh. those who are born naturally um, have a much easier mastery of, of their um, of their their transformation and their forms. Um, those who are bitten um, uh, is not it's not as guaranteed. Um, but that there seems to be. Um, uh, does, wasn't he uh, telling us that it gets more text. difficult as they get older? Yeah, that was the the, the, the werewolves told you that as well. That um, that they they don't take. In fact, don't you have it when? Oh yeah, you have a sick one up and ch chained up in the uh, torture room still, who tried <laughs> to get reinfected with lycanthropy, and now he's like dying in the closet upstairs. Um. <clears throat> um. So so you know that, and um, but it but it. As far as Red and Richten knows, it it has more to do with the will of the person on whether or not they can control it, or if it's like a traditional like lose control like wow, feral monster um, that it, it often starts that way, and um, whether or not you like embrace your inner beast is whether or not you can control it, or if you try to fight it, um, you might keep keep your wits about you, but you also maintain some kind of like moral goodness uh, holiness uh or if you just surrender your soul to kind of evil powers is how he describes it and as a he's kind of like a cleric that does you know um he's like a van helsing type um so he thinks it's totally unholy but you could embrace the darkness and and kind of have more control over the abilities so that's what you get from your at 20. that whole fight disaster never got infected yeah we kept rolling well on those <laughs> checks It seems to me that um, it's kind of a. Uh, I, I want to agree with Zash in that we've got this issue. Strahd is, is an enemy of both the werewolves and the town. Not only that, but they. From my understanding while we were there. They seem to want to take care of the children. While um, while it seems awful, the truth of the matter is, is that we've got orphans who are in the orphanage who are despised by some people in this town or not cared for. And it seems to me that there could possibly be an opportunity... So you think giving them children. to wolves who will eat each other at a sign of weakness... Is it a better option? I don't think it was a sign of weakness. 
Uh, did you see them tear that other werewolf apart? Were you there for that? Yes, that, but the, those are rather tasty, I can understand. To, that was the werewolf we wanted to tear apart, to be fair. Yes, and that's only because we defeated him. If it had been the other way around, they would have done the same to us. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, but... I hey, you so don't this, see the listen, problem listen, with listen, this? Listen, listen, listen. I, I they spent quite a bit of time with the man in the joint, and I think... I think he's a solid guy, all right? The right. solid guy that lied to us about whether or not he was going listen, to be taking listen. more children. A lot of things happen when you're in the joint, okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> no um, I, I, I trust him. He, may, he, is still, he might not have been entirely forthwith with us, but when we nailed him down to a to an absolute, I believe he will stick to what he said. We literally had to pressure him to do that. The yes, minute we killed the other Alpha, he almost he tried to chase us out of the cave. Do you not remember that? The second we took down that Alpha, he wanted us out. He didn't even give us a chance to meet his end of the bargain. We literally had to pressure him to do that. Okay. Again, I understand that. I want to I want to point something out. I I <laughs> This is a shit sandwich. And he'll look at everyone. This is absolutely a shit sandwich. There's no great options here. But here's the truth of the matter. This town has no god. Or few gods. The ones that even guard this house have been up 18 to 24 hours. Well, you've already seen how wonderful the wolves have been doing for the guarding of this house as of yet. You know, the one that is currently dying in the closet upstairs because he tried to re-werewolf himself. <laughs> yes. No, obviously that wasn't great, but we didn't understand. Look. Look. The experiments let me, let, had to happen. Just let me finish. This whole right? thing sounds like an experiment. Let yes, me, a just noble let, experiment. Let me finish. Okay, right? finish. Let me finish. All right. There's no one in town aside from the Were Ravens who can actually guard this this place. And the truth Zash is over there. The Were. <laughs> the where what? are the Ravens? Where <laughs> are all of them? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but the oh, you you you. you, you <laughs> yes, but you yeah, the, the Were Ravens to defend the the town. All right. The point is. The point is. You make me finish. The point is. The point is is we are woefully low on defenses for this town which the other, the other sorry? point of this is that i we also need to protect lady irena we're going into very dangerous areas and dangerous places where people can come and hug us out of the nowhere and who knows what that would look like and by practice protecting her I... we are bringing all the predators into a town of people who are already weakened i think i agree with I think I agree with um, the bard, Duval. That okay, sure. I uh, yeah. A bunch of angry werewolves, uh, hungry werewolves, listen, won't attack listen. all these people. No, look, of course you, not. Look, I, I've given you your time and your new place to speak. Please give me mine. So, I'm not saying it's a great option. Do you know what? Do whatever Wait. you want. I don't even care anymore. I just need to get going. And awesome. I'm just going to walk out. Or she's going to walk out. Zash and slam up. the door like really hard. Never mind. Do you want me that's... to go after? And then you know, I didn't realize she was trying to get an excuse to actually leave. What are you saying? This, de this decision isn't really up to us. It's not. I'm trying to convince our Lady Irina that it might be a good decision. Just... Yes, in the end, it is completely up to her. We've given her the information. She has to make the contact. <sighs> she takes a deep breath. I can't meet with werewolves. You have two upstairs, one and a half. <sighs> and I think we can we can work as a liaison. We can all. I mean, the other option is we could talk to the to the to the village about our lack. of of guards and try to recruit. But uh, you need defenses. This not only you, but I'm certain you want to protect your people. Your people need defenses. The and we're not going to always be here unless you are with us, but then the town is without its leader. Mm. 
she looks out the window, kind of opens the curtain and takes a peek. Um, she says, I'm not... This isn't about me. She says, turning back to you guys. It's not about me. I, I understand the need. The people need a leader. And that's my job. Um, but I'm no more important than any of these people. Just, we can't be putting them in danger. Just, it, and the orphanage, they... They were taken care of. She, she says uh, to, to, to Paul. Besides says, the demon. She says, demon aside... Team with a side. <laughs> um, that's funny. Go for it, Camila. Um, sending out Umbra to find a rabbit. There's a reason for it. <laughs> I, don't if, I don't know if they can catch a live rabbit. It's just a. It was an owl, right? Yeah. Maybe a, maybe a very Owls catch rabbit. them all the time. Yeah, yeah, small rabbit. Uh, um, but um, Go ahead and roll a persuasion. Uh, I guess Paul's main one. Do trend. I got, if Duvad wants to assist, um, Terraman's been awfully Six. quiet during this. What is um, Terraman's contribution to this debate? Terraman's staring out the window as well, pretty much the whole time, like this. Hmm. Ten aids, right? You know, uh, or is that Pathfinder? Yeah, hang on. It basically, basically gives him advantage on this check. <clears throat> Uh, uh, this city. He says, I agree with uh, Camila, actually. I don't think these werewolves are up to the task. If I could stay here more and train people, perhaps, then we could create some type of guard amongst the populace. They need to be able to protect themselves. Wouldn't it be wonderful if there was maybe a knight's order sworn to protect something that, you know, maybe somebody was a part of at one point in time that, you know, maybe could work hand in hand? Yes. Well, I, uh, would be like, a... I'm assuming you're hinting at something, but I wasn't, I was gone for a little <laughs> bit, so I don't know. Like, no one even brought up the fact that there's this giant knight's order or something that exists. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't like, exist anymore. Duvon's like, oh, wait, what? There, there's a knight? Oh, not anymore? Okay, well. They're all they... dead and scattered. But we... Didn't we learn of something along the road? Yeah. To the very we place do. that we're going? We do. I, 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 Irina did have a book about like about the keep and how there was this great order that was out there. Uh, not Not far from where you guys are right now. So yeah. perhaps, maybe, a combined effort of a knight's order paired with a werewolf at the same time, one and one, we have a strong town guard. Staying here arguing about it isn't going to help at all. I agree. I agree. We should head on out. And the go quicker find we get all this done, the, the quicker we don't need to worry about any of this. Hmm. Quicker straw is in the ground for good. D don't we know that the knight's order that we're going to go past is uh, Terraman's old knight's order? Yeah, I mean, well, okay. The but the card reading, to be to be clear, the card reading led you back to the Amber Temple, which is not where the knights are. Mm -hmm. um, the knights have their own place that's a little bit closer, but you guys were, at least when we left off, it was like gearing up to let's go out, let's go back there and get that weapon. Um, um, but it's whatever you guys want to do. <clears throat> I thought the knight's order was on the way. Sort of. Let's, let's, uh, let's there's a little bit of a sidetrack. Take it to the map. Or like that. Perlovia. Uh, how do I move characters again? Here we go. Oh, I have it. Have you? Get ready, Camilla. I'm. I. I, I got. I got the argument. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. So, just for reference, this is where we believe the knights once were. 
and this long path that where the uh, the path to the up the mountains to the temple. That's so just a short the detour. Carpenter. Sorry, can you uh, sh show me that again? Sure. This over this ping is is where the keep where the people once were. <laughs> And this over here is the, the path. Little, uh, little way <laughs> up the mountain. Sweden looking thing. It looks like a here. squash. Yes, it does. Squash, sure. And we're here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I think we should stop by old Argen Vorstalt. Mm. Mm -hmm. I put stars on it to help us remember, if that's okay. Argen Volstalt. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, <laughs> I can see your drawings in the dark, Mister. <laughs> it's fairly <laughs> impressive how accurately you can draw in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's he he has a particular set of skills. <laughs> Skills that make him a nightmare for people like you. Do do need a penis drawn on something in a gif? <laughs> Is it midnight and you want to make certain that no one else can see it? Boy, do we have a friend for you? <sighs> it's just for me. It's these those things presents for me. Um, <clears throat> okay, little, little penis presents for. Uh... So, Irina chimes in. We'll get back to the away from the penises in the map. Um, it's my dick in a box. Sorry. Yeah. That's, what, that's what it head. reminded me of. Yeah. It's my dick in the ward. Fuck of war. Um, my dick in fog of war. Wow. <clears throat> Is oh, it dear. possible Umbra could have returned to its something living by now? Small mm. and living? Uh, probably not that fast. Is there, I mean, okay. No worries. We're actually spending debating this. Okay. Um, out and about. So Irina will say, um, she says, if, if she's looking at Terramen, um, if, if we could, if we could restore you and your goodness, your light, surely there are others. There may be others, but don't call me Shirley. It is on the way. We should at least check and see if anyone is still there. Agreed. If if we find some allies, then great. Um, if not, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hmm. Why don't we put some orders in with the local... What is what is a uh, person makes clothing? Uh, Taylor, Taylor. There we go. Why don't we put in an order? Like, I don't wear some, clothing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> for some warm clothing, go to this keep, come back, and then guess what? Our our warm clothes are good. They're done. I think the keep we're going to is cold. Correct. No, it's not too bad. I mean, it's. It's not warm, but it's uh, it's not. The other we, we, going. We've gone to. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, you, so there's two. Yeah, Got yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, that's why I put two I stars. I always pictured um, Barovia as always just a little bit cold anyway, just to be uncomfortable. Like it's cold and drizzly. <laughs> like <Eastern> hell. <laughs> like just. <laughs> you could never get fully comfortable in Barovia. Like. Yeah. Tara, I'm going to look to Irina and I'll say. Be right um, back. My kid needs me. Um, and you're staying here, correct? Yes, I will. I will stay here. Um, <sighs> I have at least former werewolves here to help. One and a half. Perhaps, um, perhaps you could post a, uh, a sign seeking military age males for future employment. But no matter what you do until we get back, don't invite any of them into your house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's for certain. Awesome. Um, you can just always conscript some, you know, just round up a bunch of dudes and tell them you're working for us now. 
That's how they did it back in the home country. <laughs> that never went wrong. Ever. All right. Forgive me, guys. I'm working with maps in the background here. You're good. We can vamp. Um, damn. We used all so, the good material earlier. Why are you against the werewolves? He looks over at Terryman. Would somebody not take a look at you and your affliction of being undead and th automatically think that you're evil? I think because they were stealing them. And I think that because they were being... The children, I mean. They were kidnapping children earlier. And then they've been unhonest about something while we were there. I remember you all talking about it. I didn't understand it entirely, but I think I'm beginning to understand now. They are not to be trusted. Who is... Am I here for this? I don't know. I just want the to... Will. Yeah, uh, I'm just killing time while Bees sets up some maps. Gotcha. So, so are, are all of us together again? No, yeah. I'm in the other room. Oh, yeah. Totally doing time. something. You're getting time for that. Okay. So. <laughs> totally not doing something. Don't worry about it, Paul. <laughs> so, I, I was on our, like, not, not even meta. I was going to come over and see if you were okay because you kind of stormed off. But if you'd rather not, I won't. No, no, do what you were gonna do. Like, don't don't okay. have me affect you. Um, I I look at uh Paul and everybody else. Like, I'm, I'm going to check on the uh, Carmina. Yeah. And I, I look at Paul as like, be nicer to her in the future. And I, I'm out. I'm out the door. How was I being? <laughs> <laughs> She was the one who stormed <laughs> off on me! <laughs> Paul flips the, door's the table. Closed. He tries to flip it. He literally tries to flip a table, but it's too small. So he ends up trying to like pick up the table, but it's too short to tip it over. And then he just kicks the table in. It hurts uh, his foot. <laughs> I mean, it hurts his foot and he goes, God damn it! <laughs> I, I I talked to Pete the doorman. I was like, hey, have you seen the Camilla? Did she leave? Uh Duvad, I would actually say that when you enter the foyer around here, if you look to your right, the door, you will see wisps of shadows beginning to kind of like snake, almost as if something is containing them within this room. Never mind, Pete. I think I know where she's at. <laughs> um, I'm going to like go up to the door and just like wink it open just a little bit. <laughs> When you peek open, um, you see Camila. Uh, she is standing over a table, and on the table that she has wiped all of the, like any accessories or anything on, she has set the Tomb of Strahd down, and then on top of the Tomb of Strahd, she has set her Book of Shadows. And Umbra has given her a small animal, a living animal, which she holds over the book, and using the axe that uh, Zash gave her, she slices the neck of the creature, um, and oh, it's yeah. life force. Like, she drops the corpse onto the book, which dissolves into the pages. And you see her eyes are fully black sclera as she begins to cast commune with her book. Okay. This is quite a lot. <laughs> um, uh, so, is that like to to go into another dream sequence? No, 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 no. Oh, this okay. basically, I am communing with my patron. Okay, um, which is dangerous. Yeah, hey there, buddy. I um wanted to check and see if you were okay. Uh, and, uh, like as you know, the the viscera from the the rabbit or whatever, just like the blood hits him right in the face. Like <laughs> as he opens up the door, like it's a Robert Rodriguez film. <laughs> uh. Oh, no, no, no. The book would have absorbed, like, she, the whole thing okay. is she's giving all of the life essence to the book. She is providing the book fresh death. Okay. Well, really um, I see you're busy. I don't want to intrude, but, like, I just wanted to see if you were okay. 
I'm oh, sorry. Do not worry about me. I am fine. <laughs> I love it. At least uh, uh, the, the little one, he gets opinionated about <laughs> things. Oh, don't I know it. He, mean, he means well, I promise. I have a question for you. Do you have I any yes or no questions that you believe that I should ask? I know of one that I want to ask in particular, but I am more than happy to share in this divine power. Yeah, he's going to be like, he's going to look at her, he's like, are you single? <laughs> Don't tell me he is scare-roused right now. <laughs> scare-roused. <laughs> she doesn't answer. <laughs> she just... Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, you answer. You asked yes or no question. Um, hold on. Well, that's... That's not the kind of question I wish to ask. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry. I was misreading the scenario. I don't... Sorry, I don't do spookies. I don't know what this is, so... You know what? Do you... Uh, is it possible that we can defeat the, the, the devil? I will add that to the list. Can you do me a favor? Yes, ma'am. Would you be so kind to request an audience with the others? Uh, or have sure. them come here? Um, yes, uh, absolutely. And I'm gonna open up the doors like, okay, so, some things are happening, and your presences have been requested by... What kind of things are Kuna. happening? Um, so listen, I don't know how to do the wiggly woos. I don't know what any of it is. The, the, the spell, the, the spookies, the spells, I don't understand what's going on, but she said you we were needed. So um Yes. Some stuff's going on downstairs uh down the hall. And she requested y'all's presence. If not, I I mean whatever, but if you're looking to mend some fences that have been broken whole it would be a nice show of friendship <laughs> to show up. Can you do anything wrong? Listen, what did I re- do wrong? <laughs> you I have am strong genuinely... opinions. You have strong opinions, and you hold to them, and you make them very well known to people. I was discussing. Yeah. <laughs> oh I'm, I'm so sorry now. for her short temper. <laughs> So oh, Humanus is sweet. trying to keep us all together to, to, to get to the objective. He's trying to play coach, like, trying to smooth <laughs> everyone out, like, smooth everything out, like... And he knows, do, he knows Paul can take it, unlike Camilla, so he's just, like... He's trying to play to, like... Okay, he breathes in deep. Fine, 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 let's go. I was... Dash picks up Jinxie and comes into the room. Oh, Maybe so cute. Freaking cat. I, I love the like undead it. kitty. Oh, trust me, you won't like it, Paul. <laughs> oh, I uh, I have no doubt. <laughs> as uh as Terraman and uh and the others I guess start to walk in, in that way, um Terraman's going to ask uh, s- specifically Zash and uh Paul like, "Do you trust the werewolves?" You don't have to trust somebody. Non aggression pact is a non aggression pact. Yes. But how do you gain trust if you don't give trust? Unexpectedly wise, my <laughs> scaly friend. Ooh, question. Yeah. Does Zash yeah. shed? I think that there Ooh. is an element of. Like, would you shed, like, regularly? Or oh, with skin? I was like, he doesn't. Yeah, know he like. Has... We, he's he's a lizard man. Like the, I think he would. Uh, yeah, like would we find Zash skins around the, the, the house? Like, <laughs> only, <laughs> only, only after he gets some major gains. 
He's yeah. gonna grow. <laughs> after every like level up. Yeah, I was after gonna say every after, level after, up. After every level yeah. up, he was. That's funny. He leaves his little skin line and he goes up. Like, we, we look under the table because he, he had to like it. wedge himself <laughs> under. <laughs> <laughs> so for snakes, it's like every month. But if the creatures get larger and larger that shed their skin, it takes them longer to have to shed their skin, right? So maybe it's like once or twice a year that he sheds his skin. Yeah. So maybe we've come across one in our. Maybe. What, what maybe. was your uh, what was your answer, Paul? About whether or not to trust the werewolves. Yeah. Do, was I he going to answer? I think he looks at I think he looks at you and he says, "I am a priest of Kelimbo, a deity who hates the undead, and I literally have a spell that lets me summon my dead family to fight for me." And Kelimbo smiles. <laughs> you are an undead person who people would scream at and call a monstrosity and yet I trust you we have a snake person who wants to eat all of the dead people whom we have who they were the whole world reviles and yet I trust him we have an assassin we have and we have a warlock that? communing with a dark patron you don't know that yet. Who, who, <laughs> who summons the spirit of Strahd himself, becomes invested with his spells, <laughs> and yet, and she literally is going on record as saying, I will do whatever it takes to beat him. I think it's less about whether or not I trust them as a group. And I think it's more or less do I believe that they have to be, they have the chance to become more than what they are stereotyped to be? Well, none of us have ever lied to you. That is my problem with the werewolves. They have already dishonored themselves. Yes. I think all of us have, though. I think we do all do things out of fear of how people will react or when we are scared and our backs are up against the wall. I think we've all done things that we regret. We've all done things that we can to dishonor ourselves. I don't think it's a matter of how pure we are. I think it's a matter of whether or not we change to become something better than what we are. That's what I believe. Do I think these werewolves can become better than something, than what I've perceived them and known them to be? Yes. Does it seem like the man that was with our good Duvald in the cell was honorable to an extent? Yes. I also knew that we don't have a lot of options. He nods. And walks in the Camilla. Um, while that's going on, uh, Duvad, who's been sitting in this chair, suddenly has kind of a realization. He's like, any question? Any yes or no question, Camilla? Uh, so we walk in and we just see her. Uh, so yes no. That could give us... Yes, pretty much any yes or no question. But once I begin answer, or asking the questions... One. Oh, I can ask three, but I know of one that I wish to know already. I I do not wish to be selfish. I I know you are communing with the power that this requires sacrifice. Commander, I I have a question that I need answered. Is my daughter alive? Camilla, what's the name of your other half? The other, the other spooky part of you? Valeska. Valeska, yes. I, I have a question. When the time comes, I, I know what it will. Daughter, you said? My daughter. Is is, Duvod, is the daughter of Duvod Serena still alive? Right, I'm trying to gather questions right now so that uh, when I, I'm ready, I can ask them all at once. So... <laughs> I got room for one more question, everybody. <laughs> I have one. Can we trust Velisca? 
Ooh, spicy. <laughs> spicy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Peace. So Cubod, like in the room, would just like kind of shoot you a glance and then like give you a nod. Like the thing good is, side. good, good middle girl. When I ask this question, can they hear the answer, or is it just good, me? Good question. Yeah, um, that's actually. I, I I go maybe I go over to Paul like hey, good finding middle ground. <laughs> I just because... real subtle, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just hey, look at him. Ask your god if you're Dead an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's funny. Um, I, I think if they're in the room, they can hear. So I want to do it. Okay. If they're around, yeah. See, my question would have been, uh, can we trust the werewolves to guard the city? That's actually my first question. Okay, yeah, no, that's a good one. That's a good one. I think we can all get on board. With that because... So you wish to have proof of my loyalty? Wait, am I talking to Veliska? Or is this Camilla? Who knows? Okay. Yeah, uh... Can we hear, like, the answer? <laughs> Like, are we going to hear something audibly? Because, for all we know, we're going to be standing here for ten minutes watching you in the silence, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, yes, you could trust me. Um, like, yeah, I, I could, I could fucking Dubon's do that. gonna, like, elbow him, like, suddenly, like, not what we talked about. Yes, I'm sorry. What I mean to say is, I am open to this experience. He's just, like, That's Dubon's scary. trying to, like, camp counselor this so hard, like... <laughs> Like, he's trying to be he's like, come on, uh, please, just stop it's tearing each other's for, throats now, Okay, please. and for, for anybody who does watch this afterwards, and if there's any, if there's any, like, are Minnie and Prankster actually No, we're, other? I promise we're not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I regularly checked in with her, and I'm like, hey, are we okay? I just want to make are certain. Yeah, and, no. And we're, yeah. It's just working out some personal issues with each other. Yeah, yeah. like. <laughs> we want to do it. You, we want to do it publicly. We're going to air our grievances publicly. Air our dirty laundry yeah. to the public. Yeah. Yeah, no. the Camilla, people. Camilla, can you ask me? Can you ask if, if, if I can trust Minnie? I would really appreciate it. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> okay, all right. So she, you can see that there's a little like twisted. I don't know. I don't know the kind of expression that um, she would be making at that. Honestly, um, at that question, but you see her turn to the book. And when she begins talking, um, of course, you hear what you have been hearing, but you also hear, like, your head, all around your mind, you hear whispers of voices begin to echo around you, like, uh, almost as if you can just barely hear them before they fade away. Dash. Will the werewolves... Protects this town's people. All right, the the flame like like flares up as as uh, as a voice speaks back. Um, with the right leadership, but. We should have left that old lady in charge. Okay, all right. That's, uh, uh, that's good. I like that. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's, that's a good answer. The monkey's paw curl. It's hard to say yeah. yes or no to some of these questions. <laughs> it's like the fucking um, signs it's, point to yes. I mean, <laughs> like the magic <laughs> ball. Is that the deity saying it's kind of hard I'm, to answer? I'm answers. trying to be clear, but <laughs> there are rules. Uh, <laughs> Maybe someday. I'm not lying, I promise. You could just hear <laughs> super evil voice from me. All right. Are, are you? Is your patron Beetlejuice? <laughs> hey, you gotta listen to bees, bees, bees. <laughs> oh, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love that movie. Hey, you gotta listen to me, all right? You gotta listen to me. <laughs> like you gotta get the like loose, and you gotta you know. Speak like that. You, you gotta get the five, You gotta waste my time. You gotta speak like your five cigars and three whiskeys oh. deep. <laughs> Okay, right. There's two more questions. Uh, yes, after 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 that answer, um, she waits a heartbeat and then is Duvaj's daughter alive? Yes. <laughs> and he just now. He immediately like starts crying, like mm. full on yeah. sobbing. Like he collapses into this chair, just like, and it's just he's he he's been broken. Yeah. Oh man. But like she's, in a good way. She's, in a good she's alive, way. and you can't get to her. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's hope. There's hope. Yeah. Uh, what was our last question again? Can we trust, can we trust your other half? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. About me. <clears throat> I'm cool with Camilla, for the record. I vibe with Camilla. Yeah, I know. We disagree, uh -huh. but yeah. We... Can my party trust me? So it is her. I imagine like she says that with a smile looking back at Oh, absolutely. It's uh, almost like uh, a a very uh, like like overly large smile too. Are we yeah. hearing all this by the way? Yes. Yeah, he said everyone in the room. Hear if you're in the room. So the flame flickers. Gets really big. I think it's still no. And then the flame extinguishes. I legit thought you were going to say, with the right leadership. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Jeez. So now that we know we can't trust her, that means we can trust her because we will find what we can't trust. <laughs> <laughs> because also, like, only a trustworthy person would tell us that they were untrustworthy. <laughs> it's just like we start doing the mental gymnastics immediately. <laughs> oh, damn. Ah. Uh. Duvon's like. Eh? <laughs> Two out of how three ain't bad. How does Veliska respond to that? Um. Honestly, she got thrown under the bus by her deity. <laughs> <laughs> She's as, all cocky about it. <laughs> as soon as like, yeah, the no, uh, this, this is my worst servant. I can't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the voice says that, um, ooh, bueno. Um, <laughs> all the candles go out. Uh, my eyes go back to normal, and I'm just Camilla? standing there. Camilla? Hello there. She's just quiet, looking down at the book. Well, I think we had a productive <laughs> meeting. <laughs> um, Paul? I don't know. I don't know why, but this is just what it feels. I'm just gonna go with my gut and what I feel in the moment. Paul looks at Camilla and goes over to her. But like, there's a table there, right? Yeah, there was a table where uh, the books were, and mm -hmm. everything is kind of. So like, when all this was happening, obviously there was like whispers of of voices, and as soon as the god answered. Um, the question, everything just got dead silent. The candles went out, and it was still. Paul goes over to the table, climbs up the chair, climbs up the dining room table, so that he's, like, standing at about face level to Camilla. 
and um, I don't think he really even gives her the option. And it could very well be rejected. Um, but he hugs her. Oh. At first she, <clears throat> she doesn't react. Um, this truth that was given to her, honestly, it was like, it was like telling her that, you know, something that she didn't want to admit. And so she's not, I don't know if she has, like, after what was just told to her, like, she doesn't push you away. But she, I don't think she has it in her to reciprocate right now. Absolutely. I would understand if you all wanted to continue without me. Uh, Duvard will speak up. He's like, uh, ma'am, you've given me the first hope I've had in four years. I'm not leaving any of you. Especially not you. Thank you. She just kind of... Sure. And then I look up into the sky. It's an awful day for rain. <laughs> I feel so bad for Devon. He just got this huge realization and now... <laughs> I don't know. There's just so many emotions going around right now. It's like, I, I, I will trust you. No matter who is in control, you've given me hope that I did not even dare to think would be true. She barely well, she's gonna like walk out. Just, like, was Terraman present for this, or is Terraman in the other room? With yeah, him? no, he's there. there. Terraman's he, there. He's who was there? Okay. Yeah, I remember he's, him saying uh, he'd come. He says, uh, "Sorry, I'm gonna put you in the room over here." He looks at Paul, and uh, if Zash is still there, too. Mm -hmm. I think this just further defines what they were saying, you know. Gives it more ammunition. He, and he looks to them and he says, uh, Well, we must find our allies where we can. Godwood did. And, like, she'll gently pull away from Paul, pick up her books, wrap them up, and walk out. To the Amber Temple. To Argon Vostold. We should probably pick up some supplies first. <laughs> yeah, <geez. laughs> she wouldn't have said it that chipper, but... <laughs> I think, I think some chocolate bars that we can unwrap and, and eat in front of everyone would be a wonderful decision. I think we should all. Maybe she gets some <laughs> Strange stream can't see what she's eating. She's muted. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> like, I would imagine, like, Duvon walks out, <laughs> like, like it's the brightest sunny day outside. Like, yeah. It's I mean, so overcast it's, and gross. Oh, depressing. And he's just like, like, like it's a whole new world. Today is gonna be a fucking happy day, you know. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm just like he's got a new lease on life now. I'm a little yeah, curious. Absolutely. How was Zash throughout all that? Mm. Zash Zash, he really doesn't care. Mm. Some some disembodied voice has just said you can't trust another half of somebody that only appears every once in a blue moon during a fight. That has never once attacked him. So what was that? What was that? The, this oh. other half has never attacked him. So why would he not trust this person? But can he trust the weird voice that he just heard? Hmm. That's true. He what? doesn't know anything about the voice, but he knows that the uh, creepy thing that attacks people beside him is very helpful. Always got his back. <clears throat> true. And Terraman thinks, uh, well, she's never lied to them. 
she's always been there to help us fight. I don't know if Termin would also remember when she had talked to him privately and said that if she had done something bad to kill her. Damn. Yeah. I forgot about that. I mean, Paul, I guess, wouldn't have heard. Yeah, no, this was something she had told just Terraman. So we um, head to the marketplace then? Yeah, I guess so. Let's get some stiff. You know... Um, totally made the atmosphere heavy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's okay. good. That's it was fantastic. good. It was so worth it. It was good. Thanks for a good it's story. A great moment. Oh, I mean, it's it's followed the it like it is. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but I feel like it's really followed the whole theme of this episode, and so it's <laughs> yeah. it's good. I love the uh, dark. Paul, care to comment on whether or not a hug from Paul smells like formaldehyde and strong act aftershave? <laughs> Uh, inquiring minds want to know. Um, okay, I'm just looking at the map. Okay, so there's two shops. Essentially, there. I mean, there's the what was the? I I just I posted it in the twenty <clears throat> or yeah. the, the oh, roll twenty. Oh, what from was, Alba, yeah. Yeah. What okay. was once the grocery store on the west outside of town is now kind of abandoned since the uh, employee is now one of your guards. Uh, who's Looting. scared? To, Sounds um, good. But the the other place is the um, the Arisex Stockyard. Uh, if you recall, when you first entered town, they have all kinds of random stuff there. Um, sorry, I'm looking at all the maps. Wasn't there a fucking thing in that stockyard? Now that I remember, about there was like uh, some creature in a, a cart that was shaking, and we couldn't figure out what the fuck it was. There was, yes, yeah, there was a animal inside of a that was uh, belonged to that. Um, that uh, traveling um, uh, elf, the, yeah, the bard, bard, carnival guy. Um, I that names on. <clears throat> um, sorry, maps, maps, maps. While we're walking to wherever we're going, I'm kind of gonna walk a little bit up to Divad. How old was your? How old is your daughter? When she was lost, seven. How old is she now? She would be, I think I said four years. Um, this is, uh, 11. 11. Um, 11 this past, uh, I don't know what months are in d and I'm going to say March. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, and you... I mean, especially after that, uh -huh. I, I will understand if you don't want to uh, tell me, but uh, what happened? Well, there was a, the village that me and my wife and my daughter lived in. It was being beset by a bandit king, Rikon. Um, I was the only one who had any sort of military training whatsoever. So I would go out in the woods and hunt from time to time. These uh, raiding parties sent out. There was one where there was a boy. To my eyes, seemed not much older than uh, than my daughter, probably fourteen, fifteen years old. I left him alive, and I uh, took him home, nursed him to health. He killed my wife, and my village was in flames by the time I came back. Mm. I never found my daughter's body. I was, in fact, on my way to Neverwinter for possible leads. Um, when I arrived here in this cursed country. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry too. <clears throat> what was her name again? Do you recall? We talked. We, we did. Yes, a bit uh, early I, on. it is. It is written in my thing, is or it? it was written. What was her name? 
uh, well, her name. <laughs> Let me think was, about it. I should I, say, I, what is her name? I gotta. It's, it's not past tense. We have to have hope. Oh, I don't see it. Um, it was <sighs> Eva. Eva. E V A. Eva. My beloved. She was. She was so. She was nothing like me, and that's that is all for the good. Her, her song could light up the whole town. I wrote Kadenka. Ah, um, yeah, okay. Sorry, now just tell her. It's Kadenka. I just I just call, sometimes call her Eva. I my my. It, you know, it's only been I like six years Ava. since you guys last used her name, you know? <laughs> I, I, I called her little Ava after her mother. Oh, okay, wife was Ava, sure. Yeah, yes. I saved it. <laughs> that, one. Kadenka. that was exactly what it was. And it had a meaning. Nice. I'm glad I found that in my notes. Yeah, totally not digging up really old notes here. <laughs> Sorry. It's good. It's good. But, um, I kind of want to hand wave the shopping just because yeah. I don't I hate it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that is fair. Um, but uh you guys have so much money. Um you can trade it for whatever furs you, you can get um for warm stuff. But it's um we'll get across that bridge when we get to it. It's gonna they might have to even craft some for your for your bodies that fit, you know, kind of uh, tailor them accordingly. So yeah, as it was not a bad idea that uh, Jester gave. Um, perhaps we go visit um, the old keep where all the uh, paladins once stood, and uh, come back for the clothes. <clears throat> oh, that, that that makes sense. Um, so I I was trying to remember what her name was, mm -hmm. uh, like her name meant. It meant with rhythm because she had, she could sing and everything like that. So mm. yeah, nice. Anyway. So nice. the keep that we're going to go to while the furs are being made, that's where we believe that uh, Terramin's people are? Correct. Okay. Where they once were, at least. Is there anyone we could uh, pay to uh, perhaps, like, increase uh, the uh, the effect of, or of my shield or oh, improve weapons could, or anything like yeah. that? That can be done um, when we get back to, of course, but yeah, not in this town, unfortunately. They really are very like okay. mundane. You'll need right. a magical thing to improve it at all. Um, <clears throat> um cool. Yeah, they they don't have the means, unfortunately. I almost wonder if Velaki, who I believe should still have food despite them being shorthanded, mm -hmm. could meet with that neighboring town and offering. Um, potential trade, especially with Exchange. them having, yeah, they suffered severe food shortage because of the last event. I mean, obviously, we couldn't go there, but I'm sure that um, that uh, Irina so maybe, could... Yeah, you know, she might be able to work the thing. Um, yeah, they're, they're, the travel, the inter village travel is really, really you know, you know, the hag was going from town to town selling uh, pies, um, but in general, there's not a lot of traveling between the towns. Dang, these birds are loud. Yeah, I kept like <laughs> trying to figure out where the noise was coming from because I, I thought like a video was loud. on or something. But <laughs> good <laughs> gravy, those birds went crazy. I was Everybody have magical weapons. Uh, well, I have magic. <clears throat> nope, <laughs> magic spells. <laughs> Uh, I seem to Max. Do you have something magical or plus one or something? Oh, I think I he needs have something. No, yeah, I need magical weapons. Mm. I think I think it's just you. I was gonna get this a uh, spell or something. That so I kind that. of been looking at what weapons Zash can use, and I've kind of been cutting myself short with these. <laughs> yeah. But I've got the devil's mace. That's that's. I, I have no fucking clue if that's just a normal mace flavored. Oh, text. you mean the angel, the fallen angel? Is that what you want? No. Uh, <coughs> wasn't it the mace from? 
<laughs> uh, the woman that we killed in her home. Uh, Lady Vokter? Yeah, didn't she have a mace that I took from her? Probably. Oh, man, that sounds that sounds right, because I think, I think she had one, if that's what you have written down. Yeah. Can, uh, can you use a, a rapier, Max? Um, so I would, I, I could use it, uh, but I would, but I'm much better with ranged. Yes. Like I, I'm, I'm built towards that. So crossbows, I, no I, less. Yeah. Yes. Specifically. Crossbows. Which I think <clears throat> we were saying that I was basically any silver that we got, I was melting down into arrowheads. But it doesn't, I... silver doesn't overcome everything. Yeah. Didn't you get silver from the werewolf then, though? Mm-hmm. I yeah, specifically could... was like, I'm going to take all the silver and then the gems and then. Yeah, there are rules about how many you can get at a time. Well, we can uh, look, dump some silver with the blacksmith, be like, hey, can you use as many crossbow bolt heads as you can? Yeah. Um, um, we'll come and back. specifically, I was like, uh, <clears throat> you know, I was wanting to get a enchanted whatever ma- magic weapon, mm-hmm. but, you know. You know, we're 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 not in a place where things are readily yeah. available. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a magic weapon spell. I think yes. it's a divine the, magic spell. Yeah, I was I almost got it the last time, and now I'm yeah. now I'm like shit. I should have grabbed it. There, there's all know. sorts of magic weapons in this land because you know I've been looking up, but we have not come across any of them. Mm-hmm. Let's go get them. They'll be at that. that they'll be at this next place, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Truly. We're gonna we're gonna do you know uh, go kill a, all your uh, friends and steal their weapons. Like there's a uh, holy avenger the scimitar that. Uh, oh yeah, no, like there's there's lots of good stuff in here, but it's also a matter of a if you, you pulled it on the any of that stuff, guys. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's a matter of if you pull it on the Taraka card or whatever, and then also if you just decide to explore everything because yeah. you know. I have got several magical items on me. I've got the holy symbol of Ravenkind. I've got the rope of climbing. I got the eyes of the eagle. I've got a, a bag of holding and a ring of resistance. The most magical thing that I've got is a gray bag of tricks. A bag of tricks. Am I just hoarding all the magic items? Is I got a wand of webs. For kids. Oh, and I have my filter of love and a wand of smiles. <laughs> a wand of smiles. I yes, I haven't had a chance to use it yet. That's nice. It uh, says here on page twenty-seven of the yeah, Raven uh, Ravenloft book. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are tired of this, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. I uh, have a death rattle. What is this? That's funny. Well, yeah, I'm looking at actually what magic items are actually in the adventure, and there's quite a few. You just have to find them, right? Um, um, keep in mind that half the adventure is in the castle. You guys haven't really explored the castle yet. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, we were just trying to survive last time. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> understandable. Um, okay, so we're doing um, getting as many cold um, outfits as possible, yep. and we're going to get as many silver-headed uh, crossbow bolts at least, because uh, making a whole weapon out of silver is going to be a bit trickier. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Bob's going to end up looking like a fucking uh, Soviet Union commissar by the end of this with a fucking uh, Ushanka warm hat and a fur lined coat and everything. Kadinka. Zash, are you going to be Fort okay Kadinka. in the cold? I don't know. I've never been in the cold. Well, <laughs> when we were at the Abbots, you didn't do too hot. We get into cold weather and he just falls asleep I immediately. He's might... just like recommend us getting you a nice heavy fur coat or something. He does He does wear that cloak. Oh, when he, you, you do have so him to use that cloak, with, but uh, I don't, modifications. When you he yeah, he's a lizard man. But he's like, but he's like also like got a man, man torso. Yeah, but like he's a lizard. It's cold. Oh, you lose your head. head. <laughs> like his, his, his torso isn't Suddenly human. It's a humanoid I, torso. I I keep bringing stuff on the rabbit trails. Let's get to this fucking fortress. I love you guys. I love you guys. Have a lot of fun. Maybe there's a magic old cloak that would keep me warm. I don't know. Yeah. I can well, do this, but it won't think... help much, and I'll like create a ball of fire next to me. 
I'm ninety nine percent certain we talked about this in between, like like right after the session last time in the Discord. But like, also Zach mm -hmm. can transform into a warm blooded creature. Oh, that's right. Um, like, I think that would be the solution to like. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the only one of us that's not even going to have any kind of issues whatsoever is Terraman. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah. Terraman's like, yeah. I feel He's nothing. Like the coldest blooded with no blood in his body. <laughs> yeah. We just have to worry about him actually freezing. Yeah, just losing, like, fingers we'll and stuff. Sleep for the night, and he's just like... <laughs> Jaw falls off. <laughs> you drop in the that. morning, he's just literally just stuck. Still <laughs> I can't move. We oh. gotta watch the rigor mortis. Yes. Keep the fire stuck. Keep them, keep the blood nice and warm. Sorry. <laughs> so, You're okay. After the party goes shopping, we hit the dusty trail to head yes. to uh, Argo's Ar uh, Argon 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 Holt. Now, I, hmm, I should have copied and pasted some info for my boy Rogue, because he's going to know a little bit of lore. He's going to have some memory issues. But... Um... Uh, would that fatigue have gone away with me uh, short resting or no? No. I'm okay. still fatigued. I just you didn't know how that worked. You couldn't, so. Your rest overnight was however your short rest was effective. So whatever benefits you get from short rest, you can get. Your long rest overnight did not take. <clears throat> um, I don't even care. I, I, I don't even need one close. Just, just uh, the, my child is alive. <laughs> it's alive, and I, I like, I, I, oh, he's not even here. But I would, I imagine, I would pick up like, <clears throat> oh no, you are here. Your thing just dripped out for a little bit. I'd pick up Paul and swing him around. <laughs> it's alive. I think Paul smiles at you, and uh, he's just, I'm so glad. You have children, Paul. I never asked. Uh, I do not have children. Well. They're a uh, fucking handful. Don't don't even start. But I no, I they are also I, a blessing. I did I did have one. Oh, my friend. I'm sorry. Did not mean to dredge up things. I'm glad for you. And he smiles. Would Camila have heard that? I don't know if she would have been close enough. Or, or if you guys were on a shopping trip, we're oh. on a shopping montage. Yeah, or if you guys would have been having that conversation kind of privately. I mean, I, I imagine like. Well, I, I imagine I gathered a lot of attention by swinging Paul around, be like. That's know. yeah, that's true. Yes, no, I uh, yeah, no. So I think he's just like yes, no. I'm glad for you, and he um, just smiles. Eh. Hey. And he, it's like a legitimate smile. It's not, he's not like trying to make him feel guilty whatever. or anything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oof. All right. I would like to, um, I, I, we're waiting for bees. Is that what's going on? So, yeah, basically. Um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I just want to make certain. So, yeah, I think Paul uh, gets down and he kind of like gets back to, uh, like, after he lets uh, me down, I go back to shopping. Just kind of like, just minding his own self, just going back and, uh, you know, maybe he gets like a couple lo bread loaves, you know, a couple of, um, you know, I think he specifically buys a few haunches of meat. Actually, do you want me to, to, to spend the money to actually do this? Or is this like flavor? What was that? To do what? To buy food. No, I couldn't care less. I, I, okay. I, I wish I were more into the that All right. stuff. But I'm like, so then yeah. he, he will... Like, it, it's he, just too much, you know? We're not playing Dark Souls. Yeah, right? he specifically buys... Or, like, he gets a, a glass of wine. He gets... Um, he gets uh, a, and a few other uh, things that he keeps uh, sneaky secret. Duvad buys several bottles of soju. Okay, soju. All right. I'm certain that's readily available in Falaki. In, in, in <laughs> Eastern Europe. <laughs> in basically Romania. Yeah, and Koreans in Eastern Romania. Oh, well, I mean... Right. 
I, I like watching uh what was it? Um fuck, what was that show? Um the the one with the with Dracula, um the, the anime on Netflix, Castlevania. There was like some Eastern like vampires and stuff in there. Like some Chinese vampires and Japanese vampires in that show, so maybe. That's cool. I it was the the first two seasons <clears throat> fantastic. I'm just looking for stuff to share with you guys. Cool. Uh, all right. So you guys head head the right direction. Um, are you getting anything else? You're just heading straight to the straight for where you're actually heading down the road where you first met and fought um, um, <clears throat> Terraman in his first <clears throat> before mm. Rogue joined the game before Rogue yeah. joined the party. You'll be heading down that road. <clears throat> just just checking. You're not getting anything else. We're just heading out. Got it. Yeah, just oh. food and any supplies I may need. I don't think our plan is to go all the way up to the uh, Amber Temple right now. Sure. I think it's already lost first. Yeah, yeah. You, you plan to come and back, go back. For, for the night. I understand. Hmm. Would I be able to just get, as there a place that I might be able to find just a simple dagger? Oh, for sure. For okay. Sure. Just to add one. To be, the, the axe was a little awkward to try to slice that thing's throat with. So, you know, I, might I need something a little much. more. Sleek needs a good athame for sliced <laughs> sacrifices. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Sorry. That's all I That's need. Good. That's good. Oh it's yeah, you were be... talking about magic weapons. I do have a rapier. I have a vicious rapier. So there you go. That one, that one counts. Oh, know. that's probably the one I gave you. Okay. Well, then yeah. there we go. I also have something that I'm like I'm trying to figure out where I got it from, but I have a thing called a death rattle. Which is from the toy maker. Yep, sitting at the top of an uh, enameled wooden rod is a skull, the remains of a gnome jester, who uh, da, 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 something like that cackles gleefully at the worst possible moment. So <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was it, the the gnome jester who visited Castle Ravenloft to try to entertain Straw. The skull rattles when uh, with the finger bones. Of the gnome and cackles gleefully at the worst possible moment. Interesting. Horrifying. But I just have that in my backpack. Because, you know, maybe my child might like it if I find her again. Here, have this horrific nightmare beyond your comprehension. All right. Um. <sighs> Re attaching. Yeah, you guys make it into the back into the woods, um, going the direction you know. Um, I'm thinking um, Terramin leads you that direction. Uh, does Terramin want to tell them anything on the way there? Do you have any questions for Terramin? And again, his memory's a little spotty, but you can try. I might have to whisper in his ear as you guys. So what talk. was your uh, your rank within this organization, Terramin? <laughs> How high he, uh, he looks back over his shoulder while they're walking and he says he says um, I was one of the knights of the order of the silver dragon yes were you a uh, particularly high ranked knight or uh, were there ones above you as, uh, how was the organization of your military or was it all just we're all knights and they're all basically the same dude and one dude's above all of you he uh, he seems like he thinks about this for a little bit uh, too long. And then he says, um, uh, we were equals. There was one, though, Argenvost. He was our leader. I see, I see. Stalinists. I'm sorry. What's up? I didn't say anything. No. And, uh, Two drinks of soju, and I'm already getting political. <laughs> he looks back, and he says, "This place, Argenvost Holt, it's named after the Silver Dragon. He was the one, our noble leader." <sighs> He was the one that led us 
to defeat Strahd. Last time I saw him, his head was mounted inside Strahd's castle. Well, let's, um, let's hope that doesn't happen to us. Mother be me did this key. I don't know. I I think any of the meat there will have rot, rotted away. Um, if the if it's ruins, maybe. But what if these knights are still there? I don't think they are. But I could be wrong. There is always hope. I, my friends, hope is. Always there. And it's like, all it takes is a spark to be renewed. And a dead rabbit. <laughs> and a dead rabbit. Hey, um, if you what... could do that sort of magic with a dead rabbit, I'll hunt you a rabbit anytime, ma'am. What is your marching order as you're going down the road? Is ashes in front. Uh, also, Prank, did you use any... Uh, just, just checking. Did you, uh, short, short rest, did you use any hit dice? Because it's still pretty low. I did. I rolled 4d8 um, and got an additional 15 hit points back. Oh, and you've already added them to your character sheet? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you're just you're just still really hurt. Yeah, I, I mean, like, maybe... <clears throat> now you got me second-guessing myself. I'll I'm just looking at it. And... I, I, well, it looks to me like you're, like, half health. Is that right? No, I'm, I'm at 42 out of 55. Oh. Are you? <coughs> but I'm going to go ahead and... No, uh, no, no, use... that's fine. That, that, I saw you at, like, 27, so it uh, wasn't reflected on the token I'm looking at. <clears throat> I'll be heading up the rear. Go do that I'll, in the back. I'll be up front, uh, I suppose, with uh, with Zash. It's a, probably, yeah. I'll probably be lingering yeah. a little bit behind Terraman. I can imagine you probably like pointing out like landmarks and stuff. Like, oh, this is where I killed that guy. Oh, my best friend died over here. Maybe five meters spread. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to be in the middle of the party so that way I can get heels off if need be. I'm also in the middle of the party because I'm squishy. <laughs> Forgive me if you're a little bit closer together just for the sake of this map. But no um, <clears throat> you're coming down the road and um, get a whiff of death um, on the road. Um, get you guys on the map. Oh, I recognize I that smell. I got something for this. Zesh has danger sense. Oh yeah. Oh, tell me you got a danger sense. Oh shit! Are you guys not on the map? I can see black. Yeah, I think yeah, I put you in the wrong layer. My mistake. Let's try that again. How about danger zone? That's Zesh anytime. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you guys are walking down the road here. Get a uh, of just rotten, dying, like rotten flesh. <clears throat> As you go, um, um, smell of a nightly odor. As so before walk, the, I'll oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, you can you can talk if you prefer. We're no, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I was just being. <laughs> I was just gonna vamp. I thought you were still working on stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, Umbra would be out with me too. By the way, probably flying. So is, this, is this marching order looks okay? Yeah, yeah that looks fine to me. I think that's okay. what we all kind of intend. Zash, you are immune to poison. Is that right, or are you? I do believe I am immune to poison. <clears throat> yeah, a double a check feature, I think. Yeah. Either poison or like something else, like disease. It's one of those two. It's poison. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Uh, <clears throat> you guys are making your way down the road. So again, you can kind of arrange yourself however you like. Behind Zash and Terraman. Oh, I gotta snuggle <laughs> Umbra up in the tree with Bertram. <laughs> oh. Yeah, poison immunity. I'm uh, immune to poison damage and right. poison condition. So Bartram and Umbra. Please roll a constitution save. Oh my god. <laughs> Umbra's gonna die. 
Oh, no. Uh, it's okay. Give me a second. Con, con, con. Oh, my gosh. Uh, he got a seven. Can we feel the area getting poisonous? Is that a thing? No, no, it got just reeks. It just reeks of death. An eleven. <clears throat> um. Okay, so they both. Um. If you're flying, and you're incapacitated. Yeah, you fall. You've got to fall, right? Yeah. Well, either way, Umbra has literally one HP, so no matter what they it is, they're going to bam. Do. They both fall and poof out of existence. Just flying, flying, land on the tree and like fall out. I mean, they're I'm... familiar, so they're not dead dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, we have to. They're, they're, cool. cool. they're gone now, yeah. Um, I imagine, like, I, this is probably something that Paul's really familiar with, because he is a mortician, and so, you know. Yeah, it smells getting really strong. Just letting you know, that would immediately put Camila on alert. I would also, like, give everybody, like, because you know how morticians have that thing they put under their nose to work on dead bodies. I imagine he, like, kind of hands it out if they'd like it. Yeah. Smell I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not like asking that. for a mechanical benefit or anything. I'm just saying sure. I think it's a fun flavor. Yeah. I um, definitely would like take my water skin, like pour uh, on a little bit of a rag and fasten it around my face. Yeah. All right. So you continue walking, though, right? We're not going to stop and investigate nothing like that. Uh, um, I would investigate then. No, yeah. if Umbra is dead, I'm stopping and looking around. Like, what is going yeah, on? Yeah. yeah, Bartram's gone too. I mean, mm -hmm. to leave, to uh, survival <clears throat> or investigation? Um, you can roll whatever you want to roll. I'll survive. Depending on what you're doing. Like checking the uh, area, like checking the... Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I uh, would be trying to understand what could have possibly killed them. So I'll probably roll a survival as well. Yeah. I yeah. want to roll a perception. Sure. Yeah, Zash uh, can roll with advantage, I suppose, if they're like, whoa. Wait a yeah, yeah. Oh, he froze. Oh, I think we <laughs> that was a great time to freeze. <laughs> Hold up. He froze mid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could have seen I'll, I'll enjoy looking. I'm sad I didn't see that. Um, <laughs> I was Sash. busy reading a thing. Sash. Yeah. Um, it was Sash. the freeze frame at the end of an 80s movie where he's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, the bees went on to college. He is, <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so he become a lawyer. <clears throat> Zash um, gets the sense that the, oh, he immediately realizes that there's something wrong with this tree. Um, uh, everyone, ah. roll initiative. Oh, okay. Don't forget, Don't forget to click your token. Yes, please, please roll. Please click your token before you roll. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, at least it was on initiative and not anything else. I'm kind of, like, more upset that Umbra just died. I, my Umbra. <clears throat> Fine. Oh, my God. What? What's wrong? That's a big old blend. Just a, just I, a big, I, 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 mm. Do you know what this is? Maybe. I, as a GM, have used this creature before. Oh, as maybe something similar, uh, maybe, maybe it is a... or whatever. You never know; bees yeah. could have homebrewed bits of it. Ab absolutely, but it's it's. <laughs> I mean, uh, this does look uh, familiar. I don't this, know if it's something this, you've used. This is me. the artwork for something I have used before. So let oh, me yeah. be more. Interesting. Let me be more clear. So yeah. it's a 50-50, because I know I've seen this before. It's a fifty-fifty of whether it was in we'll our. See. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, this is the, I mean, at least the artwork that I have here, I believe. Our Pathfinder 1E e game the, or Pathfinder 2 on page, the, uh, the book. On page 45 of the Curse of Strahd, it says that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love you, Rogue. You're great. Wait, wait, freeze again, bees. I need to talk to Rogue about something. Freeze again. I probably will. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah. Is everyone on the tracker? Everyone see themselves on the tracker? Yeah. How big is this thing, by the way? Uh, it's as I mean, it's as big as it looks. Let me see a nice description of it. Oh, it's so stinky. Stinky. Y'all seen the meme of the stinky? Stinky. stinky. <laughs> um. <laughs> stinky, you idiot. 
gosh, it's so stinky. Um, it doesn't say how big it is, but it's, I mean, it's technically a large size. So at least twice our size. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it takes up four squares. We all take up one. Um, at least like twelve perfect. feet tall. Oh, interesting. And twice yeah. as much wide. You know what? You can yeah. you on your. Uh, see if you know anything about it. Um, we'll start with Duvad. Um, <clears throat> again, I think Zash just realizes something wrong with the tree. Something wrong with the tree. Uh, Zash, react how you will. Um, we're just triggering a initiative here. All right. Zash just points up and looks back and just points as soon as he can to the tree. Duvad you know. just pops up. Pop, pop. Takes a little shot. Takes a shot. Oh, you shoot at the uh, at the at, uh, at the at the at the plant. Um, yeah, I don't get advantage or anything. Uh, oh, I guess I could put on some creepy music. I don't have it ready. Uh, you're gonna miss. So uh, uh, second you... shot, I'm gonna yeah. take, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my um uh, my uh, inspiration. Hey, glad I used hey, that inspiration. You critically ah. smashed it. And, nice. Um, cool. Um, let me take, check the card. He's gonna throw come throw on some music, panel music. Here it comes. So nineteen times two. And critical card ranged. Ooh, no, it sh that should be um, the times two what? should be included in their in your roll. Oh really? Um, yeah. Oh. Let's redo that roll. It's because this this says uh, in the knee. There's no knee on this plant, but you 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 hit it right in the, in the stem. So uh, it says maximum damage is what this says. So that's going to be substantial. Okay. Nice. Figure so how many dice you rolled? Be, um, and uh, do the math. So it's a D six plus three, so um, plus ten. So that it would be six nine. Uh, it would be nineteen. Would be the max damage. So literally. Well, um, sorry, nineteen twenty would be the max damage. So that would be regular uh, with the regular. crit. Oh, with the crit, like is it a double times two? So, then that'd be four. Yeah, like whatever your regular. Um... So if it's max damage and then yeah. times two, so yeah. that'd be forty damage. Hell to the yeah! You really mess up this stinky plant. Missed stinky. first shot, and then I just I I aim with that one. I sight it in. Yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, reload uh, the crossbows. That's my turn. Zesh. Um, do I want to use this yet? No All of a sudden, everybody sees Zash start to change, but in a different way. Oh, something new. As it almost seems he is growing in size, and he uses... Enlarge. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Big embiggened. Dash. He has That's been embiggened. Concentration, though, isn't it? Yeah, as long as nothing breaks his concentration, he should be. I fine. mean, you think he's going to yeah. get hit? <laughs> he should, he he should gets never hit get every hit. Every single fight. <laughs> huh? I mean, yeah. you have to make a check for that, right? That's a, that's a check, so. Hey, I, I believe in Zash. I believe in Zash. This is I'm, honestly seeing Zash get that big is a little intimidating because I feel like he's at the size now where he could swallow all of us whole. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I, I, I look at him and like Jesus, one of his abs is the size of my head. <laughs> honestly, I'm the size of one of his abs. Now I think that takes up my entire turn, doesn't it? Uh, I, I guess uh, that is it an action. Is an action. You, you might yeah, have a bonus action. To move so. away from it. Yeah, uh, bonus, bonus action. I do have a bonus action. You know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I am going to go ahead and as Giant Zash is standing next to this tree, he t starts turning into a giant bear. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, god. my <laughs> bonus action is to change into a giant bear. I right, pull your bear token and I'm going to turn it into a 3x3 three three square. Massive one out of the way. AF <laughs> bear. Nice. You are gonna fucking hate that. You're gonna be bigger than the creature we're fighting. 
Put Kaiju your, battle, you go! Bear. Can you drag out your bear? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm laughing so hard that it's awkward. Yes. <laughs> who, who, Actually, who started doing the attack on Titan theme? There it is. You know, uh, yeah, you're going to be a three by three. Back. So that, uh, you can yeah, put yourself wherever you think you'd be. <laughs> That's a big boy. Just smooshing Kamala I'll, I'll, and I'll just Paul. go right here. Yeah. Yeah, and... they, could, they, they can share squares with you because your size is smaller than you. So they can technically walk around your big fat legs. Oh, then in that, that point, I'm going to just stand right. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, uh, we just use him as cover. You might, you might, yeah, well, you might be giving cover to the flat, to the uh, to the plant as well. So <clears throat> Bear's Ash, giant Bear's Ash is just going to let out one horrendous fucking roar at this thing. Awesome. Beautiful. Uh, next, the flower will act. Um, it will. Uh, whip out a, a, a tentacle of sorts. At Zash. 17 to hit. Big Bear's Ash. Big Bear's Ash. I believe that hits. Uh-huh. Because um, the DC for the bear is kind of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, you'll take seven points of bludgeoning damage. All right. And I have to roll a constitution save, right? And can you see that? No. Uh, oh. To keep my spell oh, DC. Oh, for your spell. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I forgot you're, you're concentrating still. Um, let me throw those tokens back on you. Um, are concentrating. Oh. I think I might have something to help him. Um, oh, oh, for a save. Um, yeah, when you get hurt, you'll do a, just a DC 10 constitu constitution save. And I think I have to use the bear's constitution, not my constitution. Since I'm in this form. Mm, that sounds right. 13. Yeah, you're good. You're still, con you're still big. You're still embiggened. Um... It's going to, gosh, you can't move. You're blocking it with your big bare ass. Um, so it's going to tentacle you, tentacle wow. you two more times. Uh, does it 12? No, 12 Am misses. Frozen? I'm frozen. I'm frozen. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not frozen. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> the music was freezing. Um, and, 12 misses. Uh, the last one is also a miss. So it whip, whip, whips you. And then it... Um, Gosh, how do you describe this? It um, it just starts to like to like gurgle, like like uh -oh. undulate, and um, and it starts to move, and um, the Duvad messed it up pretty good with that, but but it starts to slowly like heal a little bit of the damage that Duvad just did. Oh, um, dick! As it as it as the it uproots itself and begins to drag itself. Uh, in that direction, um, and and it leaves behind. It spits out like a slimy um, uh, um, uh, suit of armor. Oh, interesting. It's... And uh, uh, yeah, it stanks. It stanks as it gets close to you guys. Paul, please make a Constitution saving throw. <clears throat> Um, all right, con saving throw. 14? That's a pass on the dot, baby. You good. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> all right, so it's Paul's turn. He's going to try a different tactic. He is going to cast... He's like, Kellen will come to us. And he is going to cast a level 2 bless, which allows me to target up to four players... In this case, he's going to choose everybody but himself. Hmm. And everybody will gain a Classic Paul. D4 to their attack roll or saving throw. Is that okay. a it's not a concentration say, check? It, it is. It, okay. it is concentration for up to a minute. So this will occupy my concentration. And that is one action. Cool. Nice. The good news is you have steeled yourself against the effect of this stank since you saved. So that's good. Good. He attributes it to the thing underneath his... That's right. Uh, the yeah. experience. Yeah. 
Um, with that said, he is all. I mean, I really can't do much with my. I don't think it's a bonus action, cat. Oh, it is. Okay, and then by casting, I will cast spiritual weapon as a bonus action. So Hell be yeah! Two level two spells. Oh, or we can't do that. Sorry. Oh, that's right. We can't even, do two different leveled doing, spells. We're not doing Baldur's Gate rules. Even if it lets me cast a spell as a bonus action specifically. Uh, yeah, no, not, we had this discussion spell, before. Unless the, unless the cantrip is, unless the uh, other spell is a cantrip. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, and then as a cantrip, just because I want to cast something as a cantrip, I will cast. Oh, no, because none of those are bonus actions. So yeah, I can't. you've used that point your action. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you had done like a cantrip as your action, then you could cast spiritual weapon as a bonus. <coughs> yeah, I don't. I want to. I want to. Yeah, I want to boost everybody else. No, that makes and sense. Then, makes sense. Uh, I will move out of the way of this fucking thing, uh, mm. uh, taking a five step underneath Baloo. <laughs> mm. The bare necessities. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait. Oh, oh yeah. can I? Oh, please. Can... Yeah, move where you want. Terraman's turn. Terraman's up. Terraman is going to dodge into bare hair. Rush to here. Let me get some and, water. I'll be back. And swing the mighty ma warhammer. Squish the plant. Play my favorite song. Get that bludgeoning damage going. Crushy, crush, crush. All right, there we go. Crushy, crush, crush. <laughs> oh my jam. My... Oh, with the crit. Oh my gosh, dude. He is <laughs> the luckiest you, motherfucker in this game. You are a monster. I love it. Dude, okay, that's this awesome. is double damage. It's already double part. damage. It's like regular. Um, and I want a divine smite. Oh, gee, Willikers. You might take. You might kill this thing in one hit. Yeah. Well, don't forget it is regenerating. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Not enough against Terraman's monstrosity power. Yeah, uh, it's hard to heal <laughs> against them. But, um... <laughs> so, uh, are you smiting, you said? Or no? Uh, yes, sorry. So we can double that damage as well. If it didn't already. Oh my god! I see, well, the... I see, well, that's even more than your max. So that's going to be 26 plus, uh, yeah, 20 plus 26. <sighs> okay. 64? No, I'm sorry. 40. No, because it would. Okay. Sorry. 26 plus 20 is 46. You do 46 points of damage. Nice. Oh my Ooh. god. Minus 46. That's pretty fantastic. Might not need to do what I was about to do. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, it's it, it's it's hurt. It is it is down to left. So if, if plants can be bloodied, it is now bloodied. And then he comes and, back and he gets a 12. And uh, that's a hit, too, because it's a plant. It's not I... hard to hit. <laughs> And then ten, 10 more damage then. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, that is a magic... Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that does damage. It does the damage. That is it for Terman. You were just awesome. hitting this plate with a hammer. Love it. Splat! Splat! Um, yeah, Terman... Uh, can you be poisoned? I think you can. I mean, even though you're dead, the stench of death bother an undead person? That doesn't make sense. I think, uh, yeah, sure. He should be. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it doesn't. Does it? I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think. It does, it, I, th I don't think mechanically you're supposed to be immune to it. flavor of this creature in this situation. And I'll say you're immune to it. Um, Camila, I need a uh, constant, uh, Constitution saving throw from you. Okay. If if Chairman was done, I'm finished. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Constitution saving throw. Easy fourteen. Boop. Hit. Uh, oh. oh. Slight, slight fail. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the natural one. Um, okay, so if you're just listening, she got a uh, net one. Yeah. Oh, okay. It did I pop up in the chat, but um, yeah. Oh, that's you are incapacitated. Right? Until the end of this turn. Oh no! Um, 
Yeah, so you are incapacitated. That just means you just can't do anything. Okay, there uh, goes my that turn. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Um, at least the plant did something. Descri- <laughs> Describe how she goes. Like, like what? What is happening to I her? Know, like, is it, is it just like a, smell? a mist? The smell is so bad. Um, it's uh, each cre- each creature that starts its turn within this so many feet of the flower. Um. Must make the save unless, uh, okay, unless I'm dead. So yeah, Terry would be no, me yeah. Um, on a failed save, they're incapacitated until the end of the turn. It's just called stench of death. Okay, That's so I'm only incapacitated until the end of the turn. Until the end of this, uh, the end of this, tur- the turn. Yeah, I know so, I lose my turn. Uh, yeah, I just um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So incapacitated. I guess, that's, I guess that's it. Yeah, guess you guys just kind of see her like cr- cover her face and just kind of crouch down like she can't take it. I don't know. I don't know how else to this. Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it didn't say the round. It's just like, so. I guess. Yeah, like it. almost coughing. It's so putrid. Oh, even. I see. I already went through it twice. Sorry. Even for me. She gets. I mean, I don't think she rolled a one, but. Yeah. Yeah. No. If she, I'm incapacitated, I think I lose my turn. You get the bless, right? The D four. Oh I yeah. I don't think that even that'll save me. I can roll a D four, but. <laughs> I don't yeah. think and it's going to do anything. DC 14. And yeah. I have this. It gives uh, a bonus. Uh... All you have to say is you get your little... I mean, it's a nat, a nat one isn't an auto. Yeah, it's it's a nat one. Right. It's okay. Right. <laughs> right. If it was yeah. anything else, I would put, I'd put up more of a fight, but like... Camila nah. was super excited that all of a sudden she's like... Oh! I'm <laughs> Can't still... do anything. Can't yeah. do anything but gag. Can't do anything but gag. Um, it's a one. Which is funny from coming from her, because she's like... Yeah, I know. Dead. <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe the Valeska Bas- side is just so almost like intoxicated by the smell. <laughs> mm, I like that. I like that flavor. <laughs> She's like, ah. Oh. Or or mini or mini. <laughs> Camila is so um is so um uh, upset by that part of herself that she's just thoroughly disgusted by the sentiment death. It's no, really- I like I like that. And the shame of the duality, the yeah. duality. One's Duvad. fighting to enjoy, one's fighting to hate it. <laughs> Duvad, uh, you must make a Constitution saving throw now. Yay! Yay! And Yay. you are now immune to the funk. What are you talking about? This smells like home to me. We were like right outside of a sulfur spring. <laughs> well, great. This is too much. Even for me. Um, I'm gonna take a shot. Nope. Gonna take a shot. Gonna take a shot. Gonna take uh, a you're gonna shot. miss. And you're gonna miss, miss even better. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna step back instead of reloading. Okay. Uh, as you step back, a tentacle will come at you. Ah. This got reach. Uh, yeah. ten points of bludgeoning damage. Did it hit me? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Fit does a 15 hit you? Uh, no. A does, yes. Okay. Oh so. man, I missed a natural 20 by Terraman. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was pretty great. <laughs> also, totally typical. <laughs> Wait, was he was he right here when when it attacked him? He was. Him? He was. He was oh my goodness. Out of that square. I think. It's oh, I've already used. Check. I've already used my bonus action. Your reaction. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or reaction. Is it a reaction? You have. Um, is it a re- reaction? Let me see. Reaction uh, is different oh. than a bonus action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, here it is. Use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack. Oh yeah. Ooh. And you definitely have a shield. Do you want to use that? I will. I will use that. Okay. Does a twelve hit Dubai? That does not hit me. Okay. That's shield, that, uh-huh. that shield bash uh, uh, helps you out. Slaps yeah, it out yeah. of the way with a shield. Yeah, hit that thing. Sweet. Yes. You've got escape safely. Teamwork. It's the motherfucking <laughs> dream work. And uh, that's it for Duvad, correct? Yes, that is it for old Zash. Snipe the Old giant bear Zash. All right. It's, it's, giant bear Zash it's, it's, is, as a bonus action, going to rage. And do what bear Zash do. He is going to, as soon as I find Bear's Ash, Bear's Ash, there it is, multi-attack, 
bite wall. Uh, if it right. won't. Now, yeah. I also, for each attack, have to roll a d4 for bonus damage. Because of the enlargement. The enlargement. Uh, which I yeah, roll minus. A, his AC and, is only 12, so yeah. And everything that I just attacked with also gets rage damage, which is not calculated by the bear. Did you rage? Yep, I said bonus action rage. Your bonus action transformed into a bear. That's a different turn. This is the second turn. This is the second round. Yeah. Oh, so you use your bonus action first. I got you. I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, cool. Gotcha. Just making sure. And that adds four more All damage to it. 18 so that, plus. Uh, okay, so that's 21. Rage. Is, is an add addition of four. Yeah, I'm looking at. Help me out with the math. It looks like 20, 28. 10, 18, 20, 21. Uh, it'd just be 25, wouldn't it? You can you can come up. Probably, I trust you. It's 25. <sighs> All right, this thing is very hurt. Very hurt. And that's it for Zash, right? That is it for Zash. Okay. Gosh. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, it wasn't this is just a fun thing. I have to just before literally. this thing dies, uh, see something else that this thing can do. It's literally like so much left. Um, it will. The side, the side where you just ripped it open. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see, a zombie kind of like just crawl out of it. Oh. <laughs> And um, a zombie crawls out of this creepy plant, and I've got to get on the map. It has the second stage. The second health bar filled up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, oh, I forget it can same square as you because you're a monster. You're a giant. You know, because crawl toward you. But uh, it can't act until after the plant does, and the plant will. Uh, well, this kind of just be tentacling. Um, can I just go on instinct? I think I'm gonna have one for Terraman, one for Camila, one for Bear's Ash. Uh, for Terraman, 18 to hit. Is that a hit on you? I close. um I have an AC of 18, I believe. Yes. Yeah, so um, eight points of bludgeoning. Yeah. And I want to make sure. Yeah, you can take poison damage. So do a con save, please. Let's see. Uh, do we have D4 added to this? Is, is that what the bless is? Mm -hmm. well, uh, what, how does the bless work, Pranky? Yeah, saving throw. You can add the D4 to your saving throw. Attack or Correct. saving throw. Nice. nice. Correct. <clears throat> Here's the D4. Ooh, 11? Yeah, so that's a total of 11. That's a fail. So you'll all... It's the, uh, what kind of damage? the bludgeoning damage will also take 14 poison damage. Mm. <clears throat> um, next tentacle is going to Camila. Not that I'm Seven. trying to kill myself, but since I am, am I still incapacitated, or was it just the I think, round? I think you're free now. I think okay. You're free now. I mean, it said the turn, so I assume. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, All right. I'll give it to you. So you're not incapacitated. Uh, 17 to hit you, though. Ah, oh, yeah, that hits. Uh, Even with my uh, mage armor. Nine points of bludgeoning. Okay. And a con, con save, please. Okay. I'll give you another con save. What? Twelve. A Twelve. Awesome. Um, yeah, no one fail. Not awesome. Sorry, that's a fail. And so you take uh, also <laughs> four, fourteen. Wait, D four. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Sorry. Roll D four. Roll Thank a two. Thank you, Paul. Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. <laughs> You're welcome. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, all right, so 16. Hey, save, you're good. You don't take boom, that. Boom, boom, boom. Just a bludgeoning. Okay, last <laughs> slash is at Zash. Last slash is Zash. Uh, miss, only miss, a, miss. A, a 10 to hit. That's going to miss you, big boy. Miss, miss. Oh. <laughs> How does he hit, oh, oh, does he hit these two when he misses the giant fucking bear? I got yeah. it. Because <laughs> he's attacking from the slide, side that uh, Zash ripped open, the tentacle is so weak that it can't... So funny. The um, yeah. the zombie is going to mindlessly uh, uh, take uh, 
take I'll say take a bite out of uh, this is Ash. Zash is a big um, piece of meat. Yeah, 13? <laughs> Miss Oh my. It misses you at 13? Your hide is so Bear's thick Ash you can't 14. pierce. Okay. Yeah, the zombie is uh missed you. Paul, your turn, sir. Alright, Does... uh Paul's got his bless on. Um go on, get your bless on. I'm gonna get your bless on. <laughs> get your bless on. I'm gonna move back, kind of taking a page out of Duvad's book. Um, just a five foot step, just because I don't know if I'm still within range. I want to do a knowledge check on this thing. Isn't five foot steps of only have. a thing in Pathfinder? Fun. Fun. Give it a nature. No, it's 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 called a disengage action. It's essentially the same thing as if a. You five use foot your action step. to disengage, yeah, but you can't do anything else. That's your action. Oh. Yeah. yeah that's what I was I, okay, my bad. Well, then <laughs> I'll just, okay. So then I'll, I'll give you a knowledge use... check for free, but I mean, that's all you want to do. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not bad if you want to keep up your concentration. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, no, no. I'll, I'll, I will... The thing is, this thing's also near... It's almost dead. Um, Yeah, I'll just stay where I am. So, knowledge check, what am I rolling? Nature? uh, Arcana? uh, Insight? Medicine? Perception? Um, uh, I would take a nature, um, if you want to know things about this thing. About a nature versus a nurture check. 16. (laughs) Give me a nurture check. Yeah, okay. I'll, give, I'll give you. It's a. It's a. It's called a corpse flower. Oh! Did you see my message to you in Discord? I did not look at that. It was from look, our Pathfinder. Look, read, okay. read it. Read what I sent oh, to you in Discord. That's fun. That's fun. It Great was job. what uh, popped out. What's his face? Um. Um. My, you? my character from uh, Hot Dish. Hot Dish. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I said <laughs> guessing that this thing's called a corpse flower. Question mark. Just went on the record when I do a knowledge check. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so what does it do? Tell me. Um. Well, it harvests dead bodies and it like gets power from them. And awesome. It, um. Yeah. Yeah. It can move and it stinks. Super, basically, super you basically metal. see what it can do. <laughs> this is like a monster in one of Rogue's games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish it were more threatening. You guys are taking it down pretty quick. Okay, um, uh, I believe with the disengage, I'm not sure if you're allowed a bonus. I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I, I'm not going to do the disengage then. I, I oh, just, okay. You yeah, yeah. Stay where I'll, you are. I'll just stay where I am. So, uh, so knowledge check. I'm going to go ahead and use a can trip. I'm going to use Toll the Dead to try and, uh, you know, do some damage to this thing. Mm. Uh, let's see if it works. Uh, Kelimvor calls for you. And mm-hmm. so that will be. It needs to do a wisdom save. <laughs> the tree has a plus two to its wisdom. <laughs> How? How? Okay, anyway. I have a spell save. My uh, DC is 15. Yeah, well, I fail it. So. All right. So All then the that will be. This increases <laughs> when you reach fifth level. It already has damage on it, so it will be 2d12, baby. Dang, poo. 2d12. 11 points of damage. Beautiful. It's, uh, this is, it's still alive, but it, it, most of the movement is actually inside of it. Like the, the plant itself is not looking so good. Gotcha. It is necrotic damage, if that matters for anything. Oh, oh neat. No, then it takes no damage. Oh. Yeah, it gets oh, healed. So it healed by all spells. No! So cool, baby. I feel like my knowledge check would have covered that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, and then that would <laughs> be... Just fall off cliff. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I'm going to cast Prayer of Healing to counteract it. Uh, no, uh, that'll be my turn. And I'll maintain nice. my bless for everybody, because that seems to be helpful. So Sweet. That is cool. Um, at this point in time... And my move uh, action is going to move me over here. Save me a... There's a fair bit of pandemonium in this moment. You guys, there's zombies coming out of this creepy, stinky plant. I mean, you guys have all saved at this point, or you're immune to it. Um, so it's distracting. But you do hear from down the road, you hear some metal clinking, clink, 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 clink. And you see someone running toward you with a big sword in hand, running at you guys, coming down the road. Clink, 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 clink. Conan the Barbarian. And, uh, it's a, it's not a tall person. Sorry. It's, it's a, it's a child. In armor. Child. 
Interesting. And he, and he's got a big sword. Uh, she does. She does. Wild child. Oh no. A child's involved. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, she just screams. Um, I think <clears throat> Chairman would recognize right away. This is one of the knights. Um, but it just looks funny because it's the body of a child running at you guys. And you hear this girl's voice say, um, um, Friends of the devil, you will pay. She runs toward you guys with her, she with her sword in hand. Her long sword. Uh -oh. Do we have no friends of them? Uh, Terraman, you're Terraman. Uh, Terraman is gonna smash the beast one time, or attempt to. The plant? Yeah. Oh, uh, he's gonna do it. That's what it, he's, he's just gonna do it. Yeah. He's yeah. just gonna kill it. It had six hit points left. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so, <laughs> so it it falls. Zombie next to it is still going, and and like as the tree, the the plant kind of collapses, but it's still like writhing. Like there there are still zombies inside of it. Oh boy! <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's it's down though. Um, can Terraman move to here? Yeah, you get you get. Uh, where do you want to go? Right there, and then smash. Uh, sure. Yeah. Actually, uh, Zash has got this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, he'll come to this spot anyway. Like he's about to crush the zombie, but he like looks over to uh, the child running it, and points at the child and says, "We are no friends of the devil. We are here to smite him." Hmm, okay. Um, she, uh, she's she got a mad look in her eye. She's not interested in talking. Okay. Oh, she's a barbarian. She's raging. So that's it for Terman. Did you attack the... Uh, sorry, attack the... Does that have um, to do with your second attack, or what are you doing with your... Um, um, I, no, I think, he's, I think he's going to spend it, like, talking to the girl you know what i mean okay yeah. um okay uh, give me a you can give me a little uh give me a persuasion check at disadvantage yeah that works she's does, already does terryman have the mark of the sa the uh, same armor what does it look like the same armor it's yeah. she's got some rusty ass armor um <clears throat> and it's not it's ill-fitting um it's hard to tell. Uh, go, go ahead and give me uh, the persuasion check at disadvantage. Okay, but I am seeing this as I I know this as a as a knight. I think you would recognize immediately. This is one of the knights, just uh, in a child's body now. Okay, so he would call out uh, um, that uh, uh, we are servants of the silver dragon. What the hell is the name? <laughs> I forgot it. Ar Argenvast. <laughs> <laughs> He's very important to me, okay? <laughs> I'm not a poser, totally, okay? It totally makes sense that he, like, totally loses it. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm a servant of Argenvast. And he's uh, he shouts that out and tries to uh, make a persuasion check. Mm. I'll let's do a regular persuasion check. Yeah, you lose your disadvantage there. Bringing up the name. Okay, cool. She's still coming at you. She hesitates for a moment, shakes her head like, Imposter! Still running with her drawn at you guys. Okay. That sucks. Uh, I've got to get a situation too. <laughs> yeah, you do. It was just a bad roll. Um, uh, Camila. I don't think you know at this there point... There are still zombies writhing inside the tree next to you, but there's also yeah. one outside next to you. But... Uh, oh, son of a biscuit. Um, I'm going to... Sorry, this changed my plans. Um... Ugh. I had something. 
<laughs> you know what? I guess for right now, for the zombie that I can see. Yeah. Uh, because it's within range, and Terraman's trying to reason with this person, so I won't make any action towards them yet. Uh, the zombie, I will go ahead and cast Chill Touch on. Um, so you'll see her make a claw with her hand and, like, drag it towards the sky as a bunch of, like, undead hands begin to claw up the, the zombie's body. Really selling our, uh, necrotic damage? Selling us as the um, good guys. Actually, it's very effective against, uh, person. it, it nice. is necrotic. However, if I hit an undead target, it also has disadvantage on attack rolls against me until the end of my next turn. And it can't regenerate eight hit points until the start of my next turn. Yeah. Um, but yes, so it takes... So it's, a, it's an attack roll? Yeah, it is an attack okay. roll. You, you hit, because it's a dumb zombie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so 12 <laughs> necrotic damage. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah zombie. Can't regenerate, and if it tries to attack me, it has disadvantage. Cool. And that'll be kind of my turn because I don't really, I don't want to make any kind of aggressive action towards this new person that, because I, mm. I still haven't had time to fully register what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, that'll be my turn. For sure. Sweet. Uh, round three, Duvad. Duvad. Uh, two shots at the, at the child. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna no. come up. I'm and going to child running at you with a sword. Yeah, there is a lot to process here, especially with it being a um, child. I think if you take a second look at, it, you also realize the child, undead child. Oh, she's undead. <laughs> so okay. we are here to kill the devil, Thrad. We are not your enemies. Uh, persuasion check, I guess. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh, man. Uh, a, a disadvantage for you, sir. Uh, we are... Uh, we, we have come to kill the devil, Astrad. Um, fighting, um... Uh, we have allied with the former allies of Argonvost. But, yeah. Uh... Boop. Wheel. Oh, not good. Yeah, yeah, not good. Uh, yeah, she's she's unmoved. She's, I mean, no, she's she's still running. I'm not a you? charismatic dude mm -hmm. for being a bard. I'm the kind of bard that people just want to shut up. Um, no respect. No respect. <laughs> no respect. Um, would that be a uh, my action? Nah, nah, you still got your action. Okay. Um, you can see that she's unmoved. Um, well, maybe my actions shall speak louder than my words. And I will take two shots. Oh, I'll move up and take two shots at the thing. You know what? This is... Can can Paul see that this child's undead from here? Yeah. I think at this point, as mm -hmm. things have kind of calmed down around y'all, you realize there's a an armor coming at you. And well, I mean, I don't know. Does a seven hit the zombie? A seven will not. Oh, the zombie! Just shy. <laughs> AC um, eight and then the uh, eleven on the second hit. So yeah, that'll hit. You get a D four. Don't forget your D four. Oh, oh yeah, I'll, the, I'll put yeah, the D four. So you will the... kill it with the first shot. Okay, sweet. I tell Can you, you what. I got the D4 specifically thinking of you. Nice. That's why I cast plus. <laughs> That's nice. Because I, I knew you took a minus to your rolls. So it I was cancels like, out his, yeah, his mm -hmm. crossbow expert thing. Yeah, thank you, buddy. No problem. So you have a second shot if you want to, to take it at the child or uh, uh, I'm not the, try to aim at the writhing mound. Oh, there's still are there's still zombies in there? Yeah, you know that there's you can you see them moving in there. Well, Although they're not they're not they're not uh birthed. They don't seem like they're having an easy time getting out. Well I'll, I'll take that second shot. Um or I'll use that second shot that I made. So uh eleven to hit. Eleven to hit, just to try to hit a zombie inside of the uh Yep. Okay, so it'll have a it'll have an increased AC, but you do see a little bit of it. And uh, so it's got a higher AC, but go for it. See if you can hit the next one that might come out. So it was 11 to hit. Oh, 11 plus to plus hit. Four. Plus four. Plus the D4. Plus the D4. Oh, we'll roll that D4, please. 
Well, twelve. Uh, twelve. Okay. A total of twelve to hit. Just, just shy, unfortunately. All of right. This yeah. added AC inside of the. Uh, yeah. Well, that's my turn then. Inside the flower. <clears throat> um, Zash, no movement, Duvad. Just uh, like no, I already moved. I moved up. You know where you belong. In the back lines. Yeah, uh, the... I don't need to be anywhere near combat. <laughs> The giant scaly bear turns to this uh, revenant child, which I'm assuming is a revenant child, mm -hmm. uh, oh. and just lets out one of the most horrifying scaly roars that you've ever heard at this kid. Hmm. Wait so I would like to do a like an intimidation. Yep, we're the good guys. Um, I think there's a thing for that. We're so um, bad at being the good guys. <laughs> hey, I mean, when you're being constantly attacked, this is uh, Jesus Christ is not going to make it very far in this adventure. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ would just. And again, I believe I have to use the bears. <sighs> Intimidate. Um, you roll whichever one's higher. At... As far as like social skills, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> whichever right, one's so... higher. I might, I might change the music to uh, slightly. Different. Sorry. You so, so don't know. But that is. Oh my. That's fun. Uh, after like he lets out this giant roar, Bear's Ash just jumps on top of this uh, wiggling mass and starts attacking it. Oh, got it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no! You're attacking, you're attacking the writhing mask, you said? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it but it's, it's more mask. flavor that he's so jumping on top of it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, um... <laughs> Is he going to keep saying that over and over? Uh, okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, yeah, first one's a big old hit for the... Uh... The zombie that's most successful. You know, you might hit a couple of them with that. Uh, that is... That first attack is going to be a total of 11. Cool. Actually, hold up, hold up. Nope, nope. It's going to be a total of 10 plus a D4. Now, the D4 is not for damage, right? Or what do you have for that? Uh, it, it was 11. Uh, for his enlarged size, he's getting... Oh, uh, yes, hell yeah, dude. Roll that D4. Uh, and oh, for, the, gotcha. for the second attack, I am going to use that blessed and get a 13. Uh, 13 is going to hit at least so, one of them. A total of, and another D for that. That is 12, right? Th 13. 14, 15. Isn't it 7 plus... Oh, sorry, it's 7, yeah. 7, seven plus... Uh, uh, 4, that's 11, plus, plus 2. Plus rage, that's, plus 4. That's 13. Awesome. So another one dies. Kind of, kind of slips out dead. <laughs> so the Gross. first attack was... Slithers out. I'm thinking that's of Ancient Shura in the, the Texas. And Bear's Ash is just sitting there like... That's slamming on top of it. Joke. That awesome. Sweet. There's more writhing in there, but uh, they, again, they don't feel like an immediate threat. <laughs> like the child who's running at you full speed. Um, nice, Sash. Um, Sash is mindless right now. He just sees fair. things. Yeah. Um, it, the dead flower just continues to writhe. No zombies come out of it. They're just kind of mindlessly moving around inside of the 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 what remains here uh paul uh paul sees what's going on and he has a flashback to weeks ago in game when we met terramin for the first time mm -hmm. he was an undead revenant out his mind running down the road saying literally the same exact things mm -hmm. And so yeah. I think this is how he, you met Terramin, yeah. It's exactly how we met him. So I think he looks at the little girl, he looks at Terramin, he looks at the little girl, <laughs> he looks at Terramin, and he says, She's you. This <laughs> is literally 
how do we get through to her? This, you... this is, this is this, and so um. Oh God, that's so awful. Uh, I was only protecting my family. God, dang. Uh, he wants to de-escalate the situation, and so he's gonna cast calm emotions right here so she runs into a field and hopefully that chills her out hmm. but he also knows that he's a small little gnome and so he's going to move <laughs> wouldn't draw where your calm emotions that S remain it is a 20 foot radius that remains for one minute I was just gonna go ahead and draw that for me wherever you want it to be 10 4 I'm gonna have it snap <clears throat> to the center it's a big old Oh, did it not? Did you it might not take stay? a yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta hit linger. Linger. Paul, as you run past Camilla, you can see her starting to dig into her pouts for something. Take away Zash's rage too, if you make him calm. Oh, it's, I'm 100 percent planning on it. <laughs> I didn't think you really would. <laughs> no, I am because I I listen. Paul has been in enough battles with, with Zash now to know that when he rages, he also loses his shit. <laughs> so this is this is both a um, this is this is intended to be used against my party and against this creature. Okay. Uh, okay. But it's a forty foot radius, so that's approximately, or I'm sorry, a twenty foot radius. So I measured a forty foot diameter. Okay. I think so. Which Zash can make an attempt to save from it, though. Absolutely. He can. Yeah, can you snap it to a square? Or choose to fail. What is it? Uh... That was weird. That was, that was, that that was, that was, that was weird. <laughs> it, is a, uh, it is a DC 15 wisdom save. You would not believe this, but uh, one of Zash's better at wisdom. I have no save, doubt. He's also part druid. But uh, the 13, so he has started to calm his ass down. I'm not even going to fight it because I'm not upset. I'm just kind of still just disappointed. recovering. <laughs> and yes, I am disappointed. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, now, it is only up for a minute. Yeah. So. So what if they succeed? Do they succeed? And my pad, it's not a uh, wisdom save. It is a charisma saving throw. Oh, that's oh. different. Oh, it's even higher bonus. So yeah, I passed. Oh, bummer. Um, yeah, unfortunately, because that was... I love it. I love it. But uh, she's still coming at you, man. Damn. Oh, Zash saves it. Well, if you use the original roll and change your modifier to zero, it's like, worse. Okay. Instead of a reroll. So all I did was harm my party. <laughs> all you did was calm down your friend. She's still coming at you. Um, gotcha. Is that your full turn? Though? Is that everything? Uh, bonus sustain. Um, cast my spell. Can I do another knowledge check against this? That'd be the last thing, just to affirm whether or not this is a revenant. Sure. Does it? Sorry. Does it say that they're immune to like resave time they're in it? I'm not sure. To what? To the effect you just call emotions. I wonder if it's one of those things where you get a saving throw more than you say once and you're good. I wonder mm. if you could look that up while we move on. Uh, you might have, have to Google it. Um, she's going to run in. Oh my gosh. Give her enough movement. I should have brought her closer, but I gave her like heavy armor and I wanted to run too. Uh, Okie dokes, where is she? I wonder if calm emotions would have affected my form of dread if I was changed. 20, Probably 25, not. 30. She goes right up to her old friend. <laughs> um, mindlessly just uh, slashing at Terraman. A uh, longsword two-handed attack. That's gonna piss big time. Oh. First, the, a, a 10 will miss you. <laughs> Second attack. 
<laughs> rolling and dog shit. <laughs> rolling dog shit. One. No, no, not one. But it was. But oh, nice. Yeah, it, it was a t it was a nine to hit. It was a ten the first first hit and then nine for the second. So missed. Um, yes, yeah, she runs in, attempts to hit you, and uh, oh wait a minute, I forgot. <gasps> That's even cooler. I wish I'd read that before I acted. Mm -hmm. um, Rogue and I have like the same. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> That's okay. Nothing's happening. She attacks you twice and misses, and now she's just mad, and she's she's intent on killing you all. Ah. All right. So can I see? I can. It's now Terraman's turn. Can I see her armor at all? Like I, I, it's not, I have no doubt she's a revenant. Yeah, she's she's like gathered up armor that's not in good shape. Like she's not she's not uh, she doesn't she's not in as good shape as you are. Like she's easier to hit than you, and uh, she's smaller than you, not as strong as you. Um, but, uh, but you know that she's one of these knights reincarnated in yeah. the body of a girl. He'll shout out, um, uh, he'll shout out as he's like blocking, I think, <laughs> uh, he, he like hits this, the, uh, this, the, the holy symbol, the silver dragon and holds it up. And he says, Argenvost, you fool. Argonvost, I serve him still. And uh, he'll try, like, maybe to get another uh, uh, persuasion check, I guess. Gosh. I have to give it to you a regular, regular check. No advantage. The regular uh, persuasion check. Yeah. All right. Here we go. 15. 15. Uh-uh. Uh uh. Oh, she's um, would bless? Could you use a, the D four for bless? Oh, well, it's an could attack you? or a saving throw. It's an attack. Oh, uh, bardic so inspiration. Skill, skill check doesn't work. count. Oh, um, does he? I think a bardic no. inspiration might. Yeah. Did you give him uh, inspiration? I yeah, can. You never did. You never did. I. <laughs> you have to do it on turn, don't you? Yeah. There's a bonus action on your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, that didn't work. You got actions though. If you undo them. One more. What's that? No, I mean, if you want to use a, an action, I'm not going to... That's not, Your attempt at persuading her is unsuccessful. Oh, okay. Um, I love these gonna, <laughs> voices. Um, um, going to trip her. Nice. Or, you know, I mean, just try slamming her, not with her, not killing her. Uh, what would I use for that? Uh, I think it's a that's a an athletics versus. Um, I believe that's the rule. Athletics, here we go. Versus her athletics. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Oh, oh, fucking crit machine. The only way she can get out of it. Well, let's see. Let's see if she if she if she rolls an at twenty. I don't think she's going to. Uh, is there any special skills? No, I'm just gonna roll a strength. No. Okay, you trip her for sure, for sure. She's uh, at least prone now. Nice. And he'll be shouting, uh, uh, shouting, you know, uh, Argonfost, I serve him still. And it, and he'll call to her his name, you know. I am Terraman. Terraman. And uh, that's it for him. Nice. <sighs> this may be detrimental, but... I'm gonna try it. So when I reached into my bag, I pull out my wand of webs. <laughs> hey. And I'm gonna try to shoot webs at her to restrain her. <laughs> um, let me see here. I don't think I put the spell web in my thing, though. Yeah, you gotta look it up. Um, Gives me an idea, too. So it's... I can copy-paste it. Thanks for reminding me about the magic items. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Always handy to look at that. Look at your it's, inventory. Yeah, it's a 20-foot cube. Um, let me see here. Square. You web, web everybody. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Oh, my gosh. It's a big old web. Yes. About to be a webinar. Yeah. Huge. Ah. Yeah, right here. Oh, wait, I have to do the linger. Um... Linger. Linger. 
Ah, why don't you linger? Linger, okay. You don't want to linger. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, uh, so she becomes uh, stuck in five feet of web because it's a flat surface. I don't know how tall she is, yeah. but five feet's pretty deep. Um, <laughs> uh, she needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, she's well, she's already prone, right? So yeah, she's prone, so she maybe disadvantage. I don't know. Or or oh no. no, if you're prone, it's an automatic fail, right? Yeah, I, I probably. I don't even remember. Um, you had that that fantastic handout you gave us. That five E handout had all the oh my gosh, all the stuff. It's been so long. Prone. Prone. Um, uh, doesn't say anything about saves. So so silly. What was it? What was it? Dex save. Uh, dexterity saving throw. And if they fail, they're restrained as long as it remains in the web or until it breaks free. One second here. She rolls a, she rolls a four. Oh, okay. Uh, so she's she's webbed. Yeah, so prone. she's officially restrained. Um, and <laughs> that's that's all I'm gonna do on my turn. I'm gonna delete the honesty circle, if that's alright. It's because it's hard to see through. Yeah, I'll oh, I'll not the cube. Well, not the web. yeah. I got rid of. Oh wait, I should probably keep the web there just in case anybody goes over yeah. there. If you could just you could draw like a. And then delete the cube after you just draw a, a square, so it's less distracting. Okay. Circle um, of trust. Circle of trust. <laughs> and um, yeah, she's she's now webbed, and she's down on her knees. There we go. What kind of a web does she have, or what kind of a weapon does she have? A long sword. This is this child with this giant long sword, like <laughs> magically strong enough to wield this sword, but not as strong as Terra. Fair. <sighs> I can only imagine a few people are. <laughs> Terraman is lucky to have a good body, right? We don't want Terraman to die and come back to another body. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they are okay, Camila, uh, we're in round four. Duvad, you've got a webbed, prone, undead child. <laughs> But she's still no. saying all these things. She's not interested in talking to any of you. She's just cursing at you all. Well, this is not not a very polite thing to do, child. Um, she uh, here's the thing. She's the age of your daughter. Like I realized when you were talking about your daughter, I'm like, oh dang, this girl. This girl Where been, are she your parents? Your she could have been your daughter. Where are your parents, child? <laughs> Oh, wow. You're trying to talk to her. Um, um, like, I'm trying to, like, do anything, but, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reason with her is not working, so I'm trying to shock her into, like, accepting reason. Like, what are your parents, child? Yeah, she's, what is she, she's uh, not even trying to talk to you. She's just trying to get the sword out, out of the whip, swing it at you as you come close to her. It, never mind. I'm going. Could I pry the sword out of the web, like from her hands? Um, you know, you can try that. Yeah, give me a like a either sleight of hand, some you bribe, um, or a um, sleight of hand. It's gonna be sleight of hand. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Any. Let's see. I mean, she's gonna be disadvantaged to to, to disadvantage dex check for her. Yep, you take it from her. Take All her right. sword. Take she no longer sword. has a sword. Now she's just screaming at you guys. Listen, she's listen. Still fists. She's still only, the fists. Only good children get swords, okay? <laughs> so if you're good, you can have this back after you've done your homework. <laughs> oh, she's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> she's so mad. How can you imagine that would help? I'm gonna then take it in to see that, like, now I hope you think about what you've done. <laughs> I love this. Um, so out. tempted to use the wand of smiles now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the perfect time. <laughs> it's like, 
a dead smile. You need to smile. <laughs> so, did you want to put on a smile? Okay, do you buy anything else for you, sir? I think that's your action, man. I mean, unless you had a bonus action again. No, I, I mean, I'm, I really don't know what to do. Scold the child. Yeah. Oh, I'm just... gonna give my um, my uh, bardic, bardic inspiration to Ter Terman. There you go. Hey. Here we go. Extra D8 on your next thing. Nice. Ooh, dang. Dang. Oh, yeah. It goes up from a, a D whatever to a D8 on level five, I think. So it says. Zashi. Zash once again suddenly, lets suddenly out calm that... down. But he still lets out that ear-shattering roar. It's mm. got a strange hiss to it. Oh, man. I'm really <laughs> tired now. <laughs> but the Kian. Uh, but he <laughs> still has his focus on the uh, plant and smash, smash, smash. Don't fight. Well. T4. Yep. Oh, yeah, roll a d4. Oh, no, the second one's not going to hit you. The yeah, first one does. The first one does. Oh, yeah. No, it's 12, yeah. Um, I still you're looking at AC 13 when they're inside. Yeah. <clears throat> I can also... It's a giant bear just slamming down on top. Of so another one's dead. Another one Another one dead. Again, not sure it's really going to fall out, but another one... It's, it's moving less... The more you pound on it and uh, bite at it. Uh... Zash? Yeah, that's Gun it. Gonna Zash? <laughs> Is that gonna Zash? That's right. it. One more of these bad boys. Comes out dead. They're not really coming out, but dead. Um, it's it's okay. So on its turn, on its it moves a little bit. There's still a couple of zombies in there, but uh, it's definitely not as active. In fact, it's kind of the 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 slit that was opened up where the other zombie came through is totally covered up with dead zombies right now. You're like, uh, I think the whatever's left in there is going to be in there for a bit. Uh, they're going to struggle to get out. Um, that's its turn, Paul. Oh, geez. I think Paul is just like... I don't even know. Okay, uh, Paul sees the little girl. And I think what he's going to do is, is he's going to use... Um, he did not sustain calm emotions. He's sustaining bless, just for the just uh, for clarification. Yeah. He'll move that he, so that he gets a little bit uh, closer so we can see what the heck is going on. And I think what he's going to do with this... He's got this rope of climbing. And so, shift, uh, shift L. How do I show you guys token? Shift, shift S. I think it's Shift K, uh, K? or Control K. Uh, oh, shift. shift, yeah, Shift S. Did you try that? No, no. Oh, what is happening? I'm gonna freeze my computer. I'm gonna use my rope of climbing to try and like I speak the command word, I send it out, and I try to fix it like around the sword and pull it out of her hand. Well, G. doesn't Devad have the sword? Yeah, uh, Devad has the sword. Yes. Oh, you do uh, have the sword. Never mind then. Um, then I, I'm gonna use the rope I of will. climbing to instead curl around her. Like I'll speak the command word and curl it around her to start tying her up. <laughs> you know, because webs weren't enough. <laughs> Yes, She's totally very, incapacitator. Bound. <laughs> Completely bound. Okay, I'm sorry. Say again what you're doing. I'm, I was trying to illustrate your token and I couldn't. What, what were you doing? I wanted to use the rope of climbing to... I wanted to speak the command word so it animates and then as a bonus action, I move the other that. end towards the destination so it starts tying her up. Like, the webs are great, funny. but eventually the webs will you know, break for it. But I feel yeah. like the rope would be, like, strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and cool. then I think I'm gonna let Terryman try and talk her down or what have you. Yeah. That's my plan. But that yeah. would be my whole turn. Uh, can I uh, do a knowledge check about revenants to ascertain whether or not they like um, 
are insane. If this is a curse, if this is something we can free her Ooh. of... If uh, this is a curse, I, I have a potion of rever remove curse. And I, I can cast it, too. Oh, so. well, then never mind, then. That's mine. Then. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. As far as I know, revenants are like, my hate keeps me alive. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. So they're Darth Maul? A little bit. Yeah, um... <laughs> I mean, it's also a little different in this world. Um, I, I got it. I can tell you about it. You got what? Something to do? I got it. This is what I'm going to try. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, so, I mean, I don't know how helpful that will be. So, why don't you go? Are you rolling in something? I mean, no, like, all I've done is, like, oh, okay. oh, well, oh, well, yeah. well, 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 what do you want me to roll? Because you never told um, me. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess a religion or I guess I'll give you a history. I mean, you've got that. Okay. You've done some research on the book of all the uh, monsters that exist. Sure. And given that we want to, like, really want this to work, I'll burn my inspiration. Hmm. So this is going to be, uh, you said, a uh, history or arcane? Or history or religion? History oh. or religion. Um, totally religion, then. 17. Okay. Oh, no, uh, we'll 23, because I used my inspiration. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, traditionally, traditionally, um, what you read in the book is that they, they only, like, die after their quarry is dead. Or after a certain number of times. Usually, it, it only takes a year. They only live for a year, then they die. But here in Barovia, they don't, they can't really die. Um, so, um, it seems to you that the only, because of your specific experience as well with, with, um, with Terramen, the, the only thing you know for sure that can like redeem them was having a funeral like before him. Because that's what we did. And honoring him, yeah. Uh, that's how he got. That's how he got his. Money. But um, you're not sure if it would work with this one. But you're not seeing a lot of other ideas. Oh my god, I have a plan. I have an idea on my turn as well. If things don't work out with Terman, then that's so. all right. So then I will. I will say aloud. We need to kill her, and <laughs> and, and and we need to have a funeral for her. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <sighs> What'd you say look. about the 10 year old girl? <laughs> and, 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 and all I'm going to say is, is I'm going to be like, look, it worked for Terramin. If any of you have a, an idea about how to calm the rampaging undead child, you I'm just wait till it's my turn. <laughs> all right, that's my turn. <laughs> hey, Bear Death just nods his head toward you and he knows what Wait 12 know. seconds, damn it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to talk it out outside of your turn. And talk about strategies. Or he's he's looking over. Terman's looking over at um at Paul and hearing what he's saying. You know, and he he hears them. It makes sense. But at the same time, he's like doesn't want to kill the child, right? <laughs> yeah. So he's like looking over and he's like um he's like remember remember the code. You know what they say? Uh, Spare the, the child, child. Spoil the child. Sorry, I want to hear Rogue's. Sorry, yeah. The code of the eternal flame, and he's holding this, the, uh, the the holy symbol of the silver dragon. And he says, uh, "The order of the silver dragon. We stand firm in the eternal struggle against the darkness." And he starts to like, yeah, re remember yeah. it, because yeah. he's forgotten it too. But he's yeah. trying, he's trying to uh, re. re recant it, you know, recall the words and uh, repeat uh, them. I'm going to say, in this moment, you actually realize who this is, too. <gasps> There's like a moment of recognition of who this girl is. Ed Ed Edmund. Can you add your D8 as well, uh, Thurman? <sighs> oh, never mind. Don't even bother. Don't even bother rolling it. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund! I'm gonna take my uh, um, the little okay. girl looks at you and says, "Edmund, 
That's my name. Terramin, and that's where we'll stop. Oh! Oh! In this session. All right. Okay. Oh, God. Cliffy, Dude, Cliffy. I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> See, my plan was, if it got to my turn, I was going to slowly walk over to the child, cast Disguise Self, and put, make myself look like an Order of the Silver Dragon oh, from the combat that, that we had with against Srod. Oh, that's such a clever idea, Minnie. <laughs> But I was like, I really hope Terraman gets this because, like, if there's any of us that should get this, it's Terraman. But <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty epic. Good job, guys. Oh, it was good so job, good. Legit. Edmund. That little girl is named Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund ended up in a different body. <laughs> awesome. Good job, team. Dude. Oh, nice yeah. Let's. Teamwork let's, makes the dream work. Let's turn all of them and then recruit them and make them the guards. <laughs> <laughs> this whole sense, forget oh. hunting stride. We need to. And, oh. and zombies. <laughs> now, we need to recruit oh, guards. <laughs> and push it over here. Don't fight fire with fire. You're going to bring it to your castle. We fight, we fight Count, fire with revenants. Count Strahd, bitch. <laughs> Did you just call him Count Strahd, bitch? I called him Count Strahd, bitch. Von Zera, bitch. Count Von Zera, bitch. (laughs) Yeah, I imagine like Paul. (laughs) I imagine he's like outside. He's like outside the castle. We have like he's like, yeah, Count. (laughs) Bitch. Hides in a a bush. (laughs) You just hear Strahd's voice over here. What did you say? <laughs> Dive into the river. Turns away. Turns away. Turns away. Yo, mama. <laughs> awesome. Uh, move. Uh, yeah, I miss yeah. you guys. Thank you so much for joining us as well. Yeah, and thank you so yeah, much yeah. for the amazing session, everyone. That was so much fun. Guys. Lots of feelings were shared. Yes. It was good. It was good. Lots of emotions. Giant bear's ash. Yes. <laughs> for the win. All right. <laughs> which is about as emotions as that does <laughs> very excited but so much excited. yes for uh those in the stream thank you guys again sausage i wish you had said hi earlier i would have totally said hi but um have a good night everyone